and we are live. <laughs> Welcome to The Last Word with Lord Cognito and Ibantis. Special campfire edition. And <coughs> it seems like we have another guest here. What's going on, E? Yeah, it's been kind of one of those weeks. There's been uh, There's been some thoughts going around the Twitterverse, especially as yesterday, for sure. But before we get into anything in this world, we've got a man joining us today. Um, yeah. Definitely just going to lay the voice right here on it for you guys. So I'm going to send it right back. So let's see if we can get him to turn the color of his shirt. Here we go. <laughs> let's do it, man. Welcome to The Last Word, episode number 97. Real way from 100. Good. <laughs> and it's another glorious Friday. We're back in front of the campfire for some more looter shooter discussion. I'm extremely excited about our special guest. So we're going to get right into it. I want to introduce the Lord, whom I had the absolute pleasure of meeting in the flesh. Through mutual friends, Lords Cacus HD, and Mylan Games at Guardian Con 2019. Not only is this Lord one of the coolest members of our Destiny community, but his passion for the Titan class and energetic humor make him a must listen on any podcast. Introducing the creator and host of the Man at Arms Twitch channel, Destiny Unfiltered Podcast, and announcer for the Destiny Down Under Podcast, the Lord of the most hilarious memes on Twitter. And our fellow Titan, who is still waiting on his secret lab chair while he sits in pain on his Staples one. <laughs> Live from Tampa <coughs> and making his debut at the campfire of the last word. My man, Lord Man at Arms. How you doing, sir? I will pay you to do our show. <laughs> Cash. American dollars. <laughs> None of that EU shit. None of that EU. <laughs> I'm going to put What's this right up me? here up front, everybody. By the way, this episode, not safe for the little ones. And we're back. <laughs> hide your children. Hide yeah, your children. Hide, hide the little guardian. I'm not censoring this one, so you just got to listen. I mean, we're not, choose. we're not telling you how to parent, but... <laughs> <laughs> But you know, <laughs> what's going on, man? Good morning, how you sir. Doing? How you doing? Oh, nothing. No doubt, no doubt. Long overdue, man. Feels like feels like just yesterday we were having drinks over at the uh, UFC event, right? Having some fun. I w and I had no voice whatsoever. Yo, oh yeah, I had my right. voice out. Your voice oh, was done. How'd you lose yours there? Uh, I don't remember any. We went to the pit at Guardian mm -hmm. Con, and I just it, it was six of us that knew. Well, five of us knew each other, and some like a friend of a friend. Mm -hmm. And I was talking mad shit, <laughs> like mad amounts. And then I realized halfway through the game that the dude I was talking shit to mm -hmm. was directly across from me at the table. Mm -hmm. And I, because really I'm just playing it up for the crowd. And I just looked at him one point. I'm just like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all good, man. It was lit. It was a fun <laughs> night, man. It was a fun night. We were bugging out, having a good old time. The drinks were flowing. Everybody was, was doing it up, man. But otherwise than that, man, what's been going on in uh, in Destiny and just in general, man? What's been going on with you? Oh, wow. Uh, I mean, the podcast is every week. That's getting different. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to get a lot of people in that. I went back to the roots, just try to get in people, content creators that people don't know. Nice. And give them a platform to kind of get a little bit of exposure, nice. which um, mm -hmm. we do. We do all right on audio. So, it, But I mean, it's. You know, we're all friends with predominant community members. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know them. We're the friends of our friends. We're buddies, whatever. It's like, I can get Rick Kakis on the show, but mm -hmm. I'm not going to help Rick. Right. I mean, Rick, Rick's established. But <laughs> when you got somebody like um, uh, Obi Katie Cat over in, yeah, uh, yeah, just had in yep, England yeah. a couple mm -hmm. weeks ago, she is a phenomenal personality. I mean, just funny. She's an amazing player. She's an amazing raid helper. And just because of the time difference, a lot of people, especially like on my coast and on, on the eastern coast, would probably miss her if yeah. you have a normal nine to five life. Because when you get home from work, she's in bed. No. Yeah. She's asleep. Well, maybe she's in bed. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> no doubt. No doubt. Man. So we got back to that. And then with the, I'm on day five of quarantine. So this is this this hair is the new normal. It's the dude. It's the dude. That, yeah, that yeah, looks pretty good for normal, man. That's a lot better than mine. Nah, you you so. smooth out here. Yeah, you can smooth out oh. here. Oh. Nah, Bro, this good. is 30 minutes of glue. This, this is messy. This is glue. <laughs> you have no idea. Like, I am a living anime character when I wake up in the morning. It's just like... <laughs> you should leave it like that, though. You should just come on in and be like, what's up? Hey, this is just how I wear my hair daily. Go for it. That's it. Nobody's, <laughs> nobody's going to call you out right now and be like, uh, do what you got to do, man. Totally fine. No, no. But uh, doing a lot more on Twitch, mm -hmm. which... Uh, 
it, it, I'm a, I'm just happy to be out there and people. I, I am still shocked people tune in to watch me and have fun with me. <laughs> I, I ask them every stream. I'm like, why are you guys here? <laughs> and a few more show up every stream. And it's, and it's amazing. And <laughs> entertaining, man. Entertaining, man. And how just you, enjoy it while it lasts before real life kicks back in. Man. I got another question while passing to eat. How did you get the announcing gig for Destiny Down Under? <laughs> yeah. That is hilarious. <laughs> I was rolling. I was <laughs> talk to me about log, that. I'm, I'm, I'll tell the quick version of the story because I talk a lot. Uh, log Power Slave and I mm -hmm. became friends through the Bungie forum, mm -hmm. and were friends for several months before I realized he was the same dude on the DDU that I watched every week. Because I'm hard, I'm shit with names. Like I yeah. can't hardly remember the, the names of guns in Destiny right now. That's just <laughs> my thing. It's like if it's not fantastic, I'm not gonna remember it. So you know, log was not fantastic, so I didn't remember his name. <laughs> <laughs> Salute the <to> log. <laughs> but I just I sent him a. We we would DM each other every day, and I'd be like, "Dude, are you the same dude that is on Destiny Down Under? I watch it every week." He's like, "Yeah, you didn't know that." I'm like. No, I honestly <laughs> didn't fucking know. He's like, how many fucking log power slaves do you think there are in the world? I'm like, I, dude, I don't know. It's, but that is a pretty unique we, name. I'm going to give him that, that one. That is a unique name. Yeah. Man, uh, you slipping, yeah. you're yeah, slipping I mean, on that one, right? Log power slave. <laughs> I drink. Two, five, log one, power two. slave. Like, you can't mess that one. It's like, I drink. I drink. When I watch the show, I'd just be like, it's the loud dude with no sleeves. That's the way, because <laughs> I would listen to him in the car. I wouldn't actually like paying attention. They're like, but, uh, this audio, man. <laughs> it, it, it because because of my ignorance uh, he knew i was actually I, like it wasn't like i was trying to work him for an angle it's like oh this is actually like my friend yeah and that was three years ago so we were just kicking it around in twitch one day and i'm like he's like dude i i don't know if this is possible would you be interested in doing an intro for the show mm. so i wrote it out and it was like a, a one minute intro mm. couldn't tell you how many i can do a lot of words in one minute nice and i sent it to him he's like okay i can't make any of this work <laughs> <laughs> except the first part so i said okay let me try something else so i sent him like i said just pick one of these that you want mm -hmm. so i sent him like 27 28 different Jeez. versions of it wow. takes five second openings coming to you live from whatever yep. and he goes okay i couldn't pick one so i'm just gonna do a different one every week there you go are you serious yeah. so he switches yeah he's just got 27 he just different ones he just he drops in a new audio line every week and I have to make, we're starting to recycle them now. So, so I need to make another batch for him to freshen it up. But it That's just became so a thing. You, when you tune in the show starts, you don't know what the fuck you're going to hear, but you're going to hear the mellow sounds of my voice. Yeah, it's, it's smooth, man. Shout out to them dudes, man. Shout out to Milo. Got a chance to meet them. Yeah. Good, good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now that was, I think, I know I saw you at Guardian Con, but I didn't really get to actually meet you there. I know you guys caught up later on, but yeah, I saw. <laughs> It was. It's really sad that it's not happening this year because after last year, I've got like so, so much, much more fun. acquainted with uh, acquainted with oh. so many people. Yep. Now I know more people who they are. Yeah. Oh man, I know. It, it's it, it's disappointing. It's such a good thing yeah. that especially it being in Florida because this place has not got its shit together <laughs> in any way, shape, or form. There's a lot of states yeah. that don't. I mean, some do, some don't. But yeah, it's like we just it. Yeah. So with everything going on, obviously out in the world right now, so. Thank you guys for tuning in. in. Hopefully we're going to keep you Absolutely. entertained to start your uh, Friday morning and get your uh, breakfast on with us in your ears. And this man mm -hmm. with the smooth voice pipes, like throwing it down for you guys to listen. Um, <laughs> but it is a Destiny podcast, so we may as well jump in and just kind of wanted to see what you guys have been doing this week. If you've been playing, I know you said you've been streaming Man at Arms. So uh, yeah. what have you been up to? Uh Everything. Everything? Just playing it all? Are you like level six? I six literally seven? got online yesterday, and the title of the stream was, I have no plan. <laughs> I saw that's it. A yeah. good, that's a good <laughs> plan? It was just like, that's a good one. I don't know what to work on next. I think the only thing I have left to do this week would be like a uh, a 100k nightfall. Yeah. Oh, speaking <clears> of which, we got to get up in there. Yeah, you, you, get like, up. Yeah. Yeah, you can oh, farm those. I have now. nothing else to do. The streets is like, talking can... about that nightfall. We got to get in there, man. Them double drops is popping. You ain't here? Oh yeah, it's bugged. It's oh bugged. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got legit. Get there, man. I have ten golf balls and forty prisms, and they're the max Jeez. is ten golf balls apparently. So that's kind of sad. Oh, so ten, wow. So there's a ten, there's a max on yep. it on the golf. Oh, so you, so that's you're all in at ten. Yeah, mm. which is really small actually. Figured it'd be more. <laughs> but what are you gonna do? That's yeah. So yeah, 
Yeah, I was like, I'm kind of in the same place, just kind of playing a little bit of everything yesterday. Mayhem's a good place to farm bits if you're looking for it. So it's just, that's a nice way. I mm. wish Mayhem was around all the time. It's always you nice to just Mayhem. go in there, chaos, blow up some steam. And mm. now you can earn some bits while you do it. So why not? Mm. But I mean, when you say earn the bits, because usually all crucible modes, right? Well, it's just that that one goes faster. It feels more yeah, efficient. it's like, Mayhem's, Mayhem's very fast. fast. It's okay. like five minutes, like max. Mm. It's an insanely quick match. So, and you'll get about 26 what, when they drop. So, what is your. Uh... What what is your subclass of choice being that you Titan when you mayhem? When I mayhem, oh, it's I gotta be throwing hammers. <sighs> titan talk. That's that no, nah, that's it's that's 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 the legit answer. Like if you're not throwing hammers and mayhem, really? you're doing it wrong. Really? Yeah. Okay. I use Thunder Crash, so I'm doing it wrong, but that's okay. That's more <laughs> No, it's like I toyed around with Thunder Crash because I knew they made the tweak to it and I saw people flying around for like an hour before they landed. I was like, all right, I gotta see how this feels. And you can definitely fly a lot farther than you used to, but I was like, I still think it like one, because in Mayhem, everybody's spread out, and it's just chaos anyway. Yeah. So I was like, I want to run around and chunk hammers everywhere. So yeah, sometimes right. I strike out, but it's like when you get like the three or four in a row, I'm like, feels good. So Yeah, I yeah. feel that. I feel that. Mm -hmm. I got to get in Mayhem. What's your, what's your Mayhem uh, class of choice there, Cognito? You just Nova bomb in left and right? Nova. Yeah, because that's like, if you come oh, in yeah. with your nonsense, then it's like, I got to shut you down. Stop that. Or if you grouped up, I got to shut you down. Stop that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so no, Nova's definitely. Still a blade brush, mm -hmm. so can't stand it. <laughs> In that mode, really? Just in it's that so mode. Tanky. Oh, you can't kill <clears throat> it. Oh, but hunters gotta have something. I, I gotta defend the hunters. They never had like a shutdown suit. Golden they gun from across the map. Tribe, you get me going. <laughs> yeah, but golden gun ain't real. I mean, yeah, if you they line you up, I get it. But you need it. They need a shutdown. They need a shut. I got. I gotta give them that one. I was happy they got that one. Let me hit yeah, him yeah, with a hammer. That actually is Sun Warrior. Oh, no, that, so I, it's I making yeah, yeah, yeah. fire in the air yeah. where he's at. He's still <laughs> hovering through it while he casts. And then comes out the other side fine. I'm like, you bastard. Yeah, it's like it interrupts yeah. any other thing. I, oh. get, I do it. Yeah, I give you that. The president. Mm -hmm. So it's a but I mean, crazy. I'm all right. I'm all right with stuff like that in the game. Like, I'm going to go. I don't want to go on a tangent. No, no, let's no. get it. Let's well, okay, get it's like, I'm okay with no. that. But the Shards of Galanor version, that used to suck. I'll say that. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. no, that's that was broken. That was broken. Mm -hmm. I mean, and listen, Titans were broken the first year one. I mean, I'm very fair about it. I screamed from the rafters, give hunters back to throw a knife. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a that. Titan. I'm like, it's not fair. They should have their one hit kill, throw a knife back. Exactly. It's fair. Yeah. So I'm a very fair person. Mm -hmm. If I hear one more motherfucker say, talk about balance in PvP, Let's I go. am going to lose my shit. <laughs> Let's go. We about to fight. Let's go. Which, no, which, there's what you got a problem balance with? Balance what? So you want everyone to be... Okay, so what they, balance. What they you want everything with? to be fair. Life ain't fair. <laughs> <laughs> we get real this morning, everybody. So here's the thing. Is it, so your, your issue is people who want balance with subclass ability or it's people who want balance with weapons? Like we have to the whole clear. The whole... Is always bitching on the <laughs> internet about balance in PvP. No, that's not how... That's not how a fucking war works. Okay? <laughs> Type... Titans, we are. In, I'm a striker titan since uh -huh. day, you know, well, not since day one, since day one of D two. Uh, our whole thing is we tackle you and you die. That's our whole so power. So the balance is long as it's in your favor. <laughs> oh, so, I get it now. I get it now. I get it now. So the balance is don't let me get to zero meters and tackle you. That's why a hunter and you guys are all spinning, twirling, jumping, jumping invisible half the time. Yeah. If that's the lifestyle you pick to play, oh then my. play that. <laughs> that's what you want to be. Lifestyle. Do that. <laughs> but I mean, but I, I mean, in all honesty, a lot of the whinging is unnecessary because when you look mm. at the top players mm. in PvP, I'm talking about the top one. How many of them are warlocks? Most. Nah, I gotta see that. I gotta see them stats. If, Oh, um, it's hunters the, the, or warlocks. It's hunters, it's hunters or warlocks. It's hunters or warlocks. It's not titans. Very few titans. Yeah, they're it's very, not few titans? Ti very few yeah, top yeah, titans. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the list of top tier titans. Mm. Sheik. <laughs> Yo, it. you file for that. Like, Yo, you <laughs> Sheik. We gotta put up the numbers, man. I don't know. I always feel like Hunter was always the more superior PvP class. But uh, again, you guys may have the update numbers. I don't know. But um, you gotta, you you gotta play, play me out to these warlocks. Though. I'm not seeing these you, warlocks yet. Oh, like have you ever seen Fallout play anything yeah. other than oh, a warlock? Fallout. It's oh, that's comical. My man. That's my man. It's yeah. comical. No, it's, <laughs> fall, Fallout is a warlock, and that's cool. Yeah. Be a warlock. Yeah, yeah, Do beast. you? Beast. I give him that. He's a beast. No doubt. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you have so many other. I mean, but that's there's, you have, if you play your class correctly, that's the game balance. It's like chess, mm -hmm. or no? Yeah, no, it is like chess. It's not like, checkers. It's, <laughs> It ain't checkers, motherfucker. <laughs> so what about... That, what you know what? Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. Go ahead what go ahead, about go. when Warlocks, when we had that the, the pre-nerf Supernova? Was you okay with that? It was fine? Oh, hell no. No, no, no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> See? Hell there no. you go. No. Oh, that had to be stopped, though. Oh, you ain't going to let us rock. You, that was too done taking it too far. <laughs> no, you, did, you yeah. did not need to be able to throw that thing every seven seconds. No, uh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm learning that. I'm learning about it all. That was, that, that was a little broke. I'm so glad broke. I get to sit here and let you two duke it out. This is so nice. Thank you, man. Oh, yeah. You got help this week. You got I help. Got that help that's cool. Yeah. You oh, got no, help but, I mean, no, no. Fair is fair. Uh, juggernaut for Striker Titans before they nerfed that thing. That was broken. That lasted yeah. for Because you could put on a one. I, I, you could literally put on a one eyed mask and do your super and run around the map forever. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, it was like, was okay, crazy. Th- I'm a Titan and this needs to be nerfed. Yeah. You what know what y'all doing? Yeah, you, you get <laughs> killed. One eyed mask got then... nerfed four times and it's still decent. And it's still decent. Yeah. No. It's still decent. Yeah. Crazy. But I, I, they I just, they just need to delete it. I guess they deleted it. There's a couple it's things cool. that probably should be deleted. You are correct. One eyed mask is the Telesto of armor. <laughs> it's like they nerfed wrong. it again and it broke the game, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it, they Listen, just can't die. Telesto just delete, be like, where's my Telesto? It's just, it's not in my collections anymore either. And they mm-hmm. just stealth delete the whole thing from the game. Oh, I'm seeing some Warlocks over there. Chaos, okay, all right. <laughs> Dramatic, you already know. <laughs> Let's go, Lazric. The link. Once you go lock, all right. I see you. It's Orchid. She's Queen <laughs> Floof. Queen Floof, Floof gang. Floof Let's gang. go. Yo, it's a lot of warlocks. I will definitely here. say though, oh, yeah. when you go, Yo. when you go Titan to Hunter, and you're like, hey, I got two jumps. When you go Titan to Warlock, I fall down every ravine ever <laughs> in life. Like, Ch-poof. yeah, Floof gang. Floof, Floof gang. is not gonna go up. It's definitely. Oh going no, down. I, I, I honestly, I talk shit in Crucible when I, when it's a warlock. I'll be like, I own the air, son. You just visiting. <laughs> <laughs> I this will is say my they, domain. they like they just AC 130 up there now though they yeah, just, just cruise like, at this point if they're doing that. I, pl- I played a dude like using that build yesterday yeah. the uh, the infinite floating and it yeah. is it's annoying. I'm okay that it's annoying. Mm. I'm like I'm really okay. I'm like well if you choose to stay up there, I'm eventually I'm going to notice that you're just staying up there and the game's going to change. <laughs> so I'm going to give you these free kills. But I'm like this dude legit did not touch the ground. I'm like every time I saw he come around a corner, coming around, yeah, <laughs> yeah floating through. Yeah. It's not a fast glide either. It's no, just like he's just. It went from aggravating to funny. It's like he's just going to sit there and hover. Okay, straight up. Yep, he rises. Enough. He rises. Salute to the <laughs> salute to the blade. You know I saying? will say though in Mayhem, I just because I hadn't played, I had Revoker on my character that I switched over and jumped into, and I actually I pulled a couple fun snipes with my Revoker, and I was like, I feel those felt really good. Just randomly in PvP, just it went everybody's like super around and just be like shut down. I was like, ooh, that feels good. Yeah. And I'm not a good sniper, but when those hit, that felt one wonderful. Mm-hmm. So the snipers are really strong. So speaking of um, balance and PvP yeah. and things of that nature, uh, what else? I wanted to open, I got, what else? I mean, I, uh, this, I was going to say, what is else there to talk about? But this is the topic this week. So sir. I haven't listened to DCP. They had theirs last mm-hmm. night. I'm sure they talked about it. I know Rachel's Roundtable has been talking about it. I know everybody's mm-hmm. been talking about it and Twitter is exploding. So let's go. Um, let's get it. Go let's, ahead. Let's get the guest, man. Let's get man in here. Yeah, I was like, I want to man of all guest for what, what do we feel right now about trial? What's going on? I, I just kind of sit back and laugh at everyone collectively. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Because, well, and I, I think I said this the other night. It was like, you know, when Trials of Nine came out, it was Trials of the Mita. And then everyone started to explore, but everyone had a Mita. They gave you a Mita. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> it was like, so the first Trials was Trials of the Hard Light. Mm-hmm. And then Anomaly came by and I was like, well, this is not going to be fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, and you know what? They turned Anomaly into a disco dance party and I'm cool with that. It was just, uh, oh, well, it's just, and then with, and so, oh no, we have th- this, this is ridiculous. We have to nerf this gun. And up front, the, mm-hmm. the double damage on ricochet shots. Oh. Yeah. I don't know why that was ever added to that gun. Why, like when why they added, I'm like, this that, seems yeah. really out of place. Mm-hmm. So like we they can't can, uh, fix the bounce, so we got to make sure that the shots that land actually count. Apparently, was the idea. I don't know. Mm-hmm. So but didn't they recently they, they fixed the that? bounce? They, I have no idea why didn't they buffed they that. It was, it was buffed the, re- the ricochet. Stuff? No, the oh, ricochet yeah, was has been in there for a that while. That was never in the gun. 
the double damage ricochet has been there for a while? It was yeah. last year. Sometime. Yeah, that was last year. Okay, so then that must have been, like you said, it must have been added like a as counter the fact to the stability. To, to and the now fact they fixed the spin. stability, and it's like a freaking laser beam. So Exactly. They can, they can revert that. They can take the double damage yeah. on ricochet off. It mm-hmm. was unnecessary to begin with, but at mm-hmm. least they were trying to get people to play with it because nobody right. was using it. Nobody was using it. I never thought I would live in a world where people would be like, hard light is broken. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what the fuck is wrong with you? It's a meme gun. I know this. I wrote the meme. <laughs> what the hell is wrong with you people? But I get it. Now we get into Widow's Court and Revoker Whoa. is the bad boy of the week. Yep. And I, so I laugh because I remember when Revoker was released and everyone was like, so this is just a, a pinnacle gun that rewards bad players for mm-hmm. missing. Yep. They should have a reward for people who are good at aiming. And here we sit now on Widow's Court, which if you don't use a sniper rifle on Widow's oh. Court, you ain't playing the map correctly. <laughs> yeah. Period. Or you're, or you're trying I'm to not even a good... A shotgun. Oh, go ahead. Some, some people I mean, you can, aiming. but you yeah. better hang out in rubble or something. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Broken or whatever you call it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's not a great trials map because it's a, it's a huge map and it's 3v3. Yeah. So you're going to get slower games. Yeah. But... Now, the same people who are like, this gun isn't so good. It's like, oh, this gun is broken because it rewards bad players. Yeah. Yeah, it always has. That's just yeah, now I more obvious. My first question is, how many times are you going to let somebody shoot at you with the same sniper rifle? Really? It's like, he shot for infinite ammo. There's, now listen, either you or I are dead in a gunfight after the first 30 seconds. It's, it's just, I'm not going to hide and let somebody shoot at me nine times with the same <laughs> sniper rifle. Nope, didn't get him that the time. The fuck out of here. Bing. Nope, didn't get him that time. Bang. Come on, pop your head again. It's just like, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I mean, it's not, but it's not even, uh, you know, me being a moderately accomplished right. sniper. It's not even a sniper I would really use. Right. And except for except for that perk, which is nice to have that, but yeah. I'd much rather use my Twilight Oath or mm-hmm. one of several other aggressive frame snipers I have in my uh, energy belo- slot. Any beloved action? I don't have a great one. Okay, mm-hmm. I don't have a great. I have one with I have one with snapshot, and if it doesn't have snapshot, I'm not bringing it in PvP. Oh. But I was like, but I, I don't have a great one. Yeah, get you. Oh, I was like saying, I have a persuader that is like. I don't know why it's just the snapshot animation on my persuader because it's like snapshot sites and I think it's a fast one or whatever. It just is like it's just so fast for me mm-hmm. to zoom in on it. I've had a lot of fun with that one. I haven't pulled it out in the little bit of trials mm-hmm. I played just because Revoker seemed mm-hmm. to be the thing to do on that map. But I actually mm-hmm. really like that sniper and I know it's like not met at all, but I have no, fun I with it. I guess my question about it arms is this though: like I get it with the weapon part. I understand your, your point. But the whole thing right now, everybody's coming down with the, you know, the, the cheating, the, the, the issues going on there, oh, that's and then the rewards. Thing. So, like, where are you at with the rewards of the cheating part? Uh, well, that's I mean, two I bullet was points, glad. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's do that's it. That's fine. That's a, let's, let's, cheating, I, I mean, I'm not a smart man. I predicted this mm-hmm. many moons ago that mm-hmm. this was going to be a problem on mm-hmm. PC with trials because... Mm-hmm. It was common sense. I mean, look, I got a clip on my channel right now. Somebody was cheating in mayhem. <laughs> That's it's crazy. live right now. I'll send it to you later. That's I crazy. thunder crashed a pole dancer in his super three times and bounced off of him and he took zero damage. I'm wow. like, this crazy. is mayhem. I'm like, please clip this, please. Cause th- <laughs> this is live. This is happening. <laughs> Everything else around me is dying. This dude just, just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> chilling, chilling. It's not, I mean, it's not going to be on PC, PC and hacking it. Unfortunately, it, it, it's, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint yeah. Yeah. to sort all this out. I mean, Bungie's being very, very proactive. They're doing the best they can. They can't tell us what they're doing for anti-cheat right. software. Cause right. that's like, Oh, this is, how mouse, mm-hmm. this is how mouse. This is how the mousetrap works. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Right. But it's going to, it's going to take a lot of time. They will probably, you'll probably never get a hundred percent of it. I don't know that. I don't think they're doing uh, IP bans. Mm. I, I think they're just doing account bans. Mm-hmm. Uh, moving it to where you had to be a certain light level to play trials was nice because right. it's a little bit of gatekeeping to get into the game mode. Mm-hmm. But it's kind of low, though, man. It's kind of kind of low bar to get in the club. I mean, you should be at least. I think you should be a, th- a thousand. Mm-hmm. Respectfully, yeah. I mean, because I mean, legitimately, your one ten is the cap with pinnacle gear. You know, mm-hmm. outside of the ornament, I think you should have to be a thousand. Mm-hmm. 
if you have a no lifer that's going to make an account, you're going to have a no lifer that's going to make an account. But I right. mean, at least it, it's it's like a funnel. It reduces the amount of people getting to the bottom. Right. Well, and that was what we so, had talked about too. Was the quest was literally B nine sixty, and I was like, hey, make it a seven step crazy quest, and then you can do trials. That way, that's a harder thing for people to repeat as well. Right. Right. And that was just yeah, I mean, walking well, the saint and be like, button. Yeah. Here we go. But button. Done. Make it make it like the Xenophage quest because I did that the other day in one sitting and I was physically tired after four hours. <laughs> like I, I like I gotta go take a nap. Mm-hmm. I'm done. I feel you. I feel but you. uh what was the second part? So the, sec- the second part was obviously a lot of people right now. We've got we got two issues with the rewards are flawless and then people. Oh yeah. You know some of the higher end guys farming the three win bracket. I know them. <laughs> Salute to them, I'm, dude. I'm I mean, at they're, you, just make, they're just making the you. most of. Uh, oh, it's hilarious. That's awesome. Um, <coughs> they're making the most of what's out there, so it's like I can't blame the right. players as much. They're just using the system to the best of their ability. No. Mm-hmm. It in D1 because obviously we didn't have a token system. I mean, right. you really you you had a chance to get random loot on pretty much any game. Like, if you played a Trials game and lost, you still had a small percentage chance to get loot, but you got rewards on three, five, and seven. And that was it. I don't know why... I mean, I, I like the whole Saint-14 concept. I don't know why tokens were introduced into that game mode. I'm with you, bro. I'm with you. But he said that. Mm-hmm. It kind of blindsided me, honestly, mm-hmm. when... Because I knew Saint-14... But I figured Saint-14 was going to give you, like, your bounties, and yeah. you go do bounties, and That's then you get... You, can, you have... You have a, I mean, can we give him the same RNG as Banshee with the, the guns? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, you throw in a bunch of world items and then you could maybe get some trials gear. I would just- like in D1. I mean, because yeah. that's what I don't understand. But they said they're going to look at it. They're going to tune it. I'm glad they addressed it this week right. in the TWAB yesterday. Right. Uh, is it what I would have done? No. Mm-hmm. But you knew coming out the gate there was going to be issues like this. People used to used to farm uh, three win cards for Elo back in D one too. Yeah, I don't know if anybody remembers this, but you would you would actually farm your Elo if you wanted to have a higher Elo. Which I, I, now I don't know why you would want a higher anything. Like, yeah, no, I'm very happy hovering around with my one KD because I play like a stupid idiot having fun <laughs> when skill base when skill based matchmaking comes in an iron banner because I'm like yeah I'm actually really better than this when I want to be <laughs> I just have a, you're like I'm using off meta weapons until it matters yep absolutely man <laughs> I'm using three shotguns for a week let's go <laughs> I, I, I got three bows let's go let's go but here, l- let me ask you um I mean I mean I, uh, what and what would you like to see change? What would I, like I mean, to see? as yeah. far as like the reward system. The rewards, all right, first off top, flawless has to be way better reward. Like you, you, you have to make that. It's not even equivalent to the, the Nightfall ordeal right now. So we, we got to get the golf balls up. We got to get the shards up. We got to get that going on. That's number one. But number the, the main thing is adept weapons. Like you, you, you have to give that intrinsic perk. We talked about it last time, whatever that, what's it called? Celerity or whatever mm-hmm. it is. E. Yep, celerity. You got to make that intrinsic. This shit, that's not that much of an advantage. If that's an extra little slot on a gun, kind of like the um, sundial weapons had an extra slot. Once you unlock, they could do that. That should be easy. You know, hopefully to put that in game, but yeah, you got to reward that. So this way you can't get the three, the three, um, three win farming, but I'm with you, man. Arms. I don't like, I don't know why they went away from the bounty system. Because the bounty system in prior trials was really good. You had incentive just for playing, and then you could get that random reward, whether it be armor or they just kept mm-hmm. you coming back. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's the main thing. Now, the cheating, look, it's spooky. Uh, it, it is. It is. Ooh, it is. It is rough. Uh, it was me, Scream, and a um, um, you know, Sinister we were playing, and... You just get to the point where you like, they ain't no, you get killed, you be like, hey, ain't no way this dude killed me legit. Like, like, it's getting to that point. So it's just like, for me, I gotta be real eager until further notice. I might be trials on console exclusively until I see some improvement. It's, it's, rough, a lot man. of people are doing, are on the same page as you. They're gonna yeah. play trials on console. I literally watched console. Fallout yesterday and he was like, I'm, I'm playing today, doing my PVE stuff on console so I can get my eyes mm-hmm. ready for tomorrow. And it's like, yeah, you got. We got to bring the frames down a little bit to feel the. We got to get a 
Go come down to the field of view. 30. I got my tunnel vision ready. Field I'm ready for like console. This. Here we go. <laughs> hey, I got, hey, I got 4K HDR on Xbox One. So at least I, I is your 4K nice. tunnel still good? <laughs> my 4K is nice, man. It's HDR looking cool. You know what I mean? Just do what so. I do. Just don't mess with the field of view. You'll be fine. So, <laughs> I want to be. I want to be blind at all times. <laughs> but yeah, man, they got they got to do something about it. Now they, you know, obviously we'll talk about what they addressed. And obviously they can't say specifically what they're doing to give the the cheaters a heads up, but Shout out to asked across them guys, like, it's so easy. He was showing how easy it is, not only to get one of them aim bots, whatever them things is, and then someone put a stat up, I don't know if you saw it, with the amount, it had the population of those who went flawless, and the total population, did you yeah, see that one? I saw that. Number of flawless. <sighs> I didn't see that one. Number of flawless runs versus number of bots downloaded was, like, equal. <laughs> And you and and you know, <laughs> and you know this like certain people were going flawless multiple times. So multiple. more people had downloaded that thing than mm -hmm. went flawless. Which for one means people don't know how to use a cheat, and two, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 they tried. They got banned, and they didn't even get there. But uh, what's no. up, pigeon? Mm -hmm. um, and then, mm -hmm. but yeah, it's like it's. The big question, I guess, for me yeah. on this is it starts to mess with the integrity of the game. Because, like, yeah. if I walk around a corner on Widow's Court and I'm like, cool, you shot me. Awesome. Like, you're a better sniper than me. You're pretty much hard scoped. And my dumb ass walked into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. On the other side, I'm like, now I'm like, did you earn that? And if I start questioning yeah. that on, like, half the shots that happened to me, I'm like, I know people are good snipers. I've watched them. I'm like, damn, that's amazing to watch. But mm -hmm. now if I question, like, just this random dude that I don't know, I'm like, did you actually do that, or are you just cheating? Right. And if I wonder that all the time, then I start questioning what the hell I'm doing in the first place. What's up, Mr. Boopkin? Well, I was, uh, mm -hmm. Watts had written something earlier in the week where she went and pulled somebody from last trials, and mm -hmm. uh, Watts is a beast. Yeah, Watts is a beast. He's I a, mean, Watts is yeah. absolutely a beast. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I, I watch her every week when, you know, if I'm available, I watch her play with Fallout, but mm -hmm. she's an animal. She was getting aimbotted, and she went and pulled these uh, this guy's record, and it's like, okay, so you mean to tell me that you have a hundred percent headshot accuracy? <laughs> yep. <laughs> over the last fourteen games with eighty headshots, bullshit. Yeah, yeah exactly. No. Exactly. And, uh, She's much other, more political than me, but <laughs> the other thing too is that we're starting to see examples of people with either you know the Steam account bans or reported, you know. Yep that they've been some type of foul play and then they're still allowed to get back in there. So to me, they got two issues. It's, it's, it's not only fixing and getting better anti-cheat. Clearly what they're doing ain't working. But <laughs> the, the second thing is you got to work with Steam on the back end, right? And, and somehow fix that. Like no one with any type of flags on their account should be able to come back in trials right back in the mix. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Doing what they've been doing. Like that's, my issue right now I, they, they've got to be hard on that you know what I'm saying? well here's an example i have a friend that mm -hmm. uh used to play a lot of call of duty if mm -hmm. i'm not mistaken yeah. and was very very toxic in their youth mm -hmm. and her ps4 as far as, Car as far as call of duty is concerned is a brick really like she's out forever <laughs> oh oh they got yeah, man yeah oh yeah because she's out wow. <laughs> it's like that no longer exists ban hammer <laughs> ban hammer and i'm okay with that shit mm -hmm. it's like if mm -hmm. you mess around too and then as you're saying it's like hey they can jump mm -hmm. right back in after a a, a vac ban or whatever yeah. they call it on steam i'm like maybe mm -hmm. like hey you could gump, jump back in and go but you can't jump into like crucible like be banned on crucible right. for a long time if you want to go do pve stuff yeah, right. woo, aimbot, wahoo. But like PvP stuff, mm -hmm. that's where you're gonna screw with people, and it's gotta. Yeah, I don't know. That stuff needs to change. The chat coming in right hard right now. All right, our sanity said that. All right, they was working on tiles. You think they would have built a anti cheat at some point, a better one? Yeah, I mean, I agree with that. Now, um, as far as Lazarus, the size IP banning, what can Budgie do to prevent, mitigate this cheating? That that's the that's the question. You know what I'm saying? And, and obviously, they, they, it's a tough situation because they can't be too transparent with us to, to give the the guys you know cheaters the upper hand now hey it's orchid I, I ain't with you now you saying they shouldn't have brought trials back we ain't gonna we ain't gonna get crazy now. <laughs> we ain't gonna get crazy it, it, it's a little messy right now but let's not get crazy <laughs> she, she went flawless i don't even want to hear from her <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of the issue that we like when before trials ever launched we're sitting uh -huh. on the podcast going hey what does it need mm -hmm. rewards was number one and that mm -hmm. was your number one. So it's like cheating's a thing. And even I played yeah. through and I was like, 
you're gonna see them, and especially like people at the mm-hmm. skill level of you know Miss Five Thousand Watts and stuff like that. She's gonna be at the higher end if they're facing mm-hmm. people who have eighty headshots in a row perfectly. Mm-hmm. Then those two sadly are gonna start seeing each other more. So the higher skilled are gonna see it more, which sucks for them. Right. But on the other side, mm-hmm. the whole everybody across the board is the rewards. So it's like, you go flawless, you're saying you're not getting a golf ball or a shard. You're like, that's fine. I was like, but honestly, it's like when you're saying adept. If you get armor, should it be fully masterworked and should be coming in the mid-60 stats? Probably. If you see an armor from that masterwork, for one, it should, please don't let it be like the Pit of Heresy masterwork. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, that's not it. (laughs) That thing drops it. You're like, oh, I got a masterwork. It's 62 stats. So if I do the, why did I get a 50? What the hell? And they're all like that down there. It's terrible. So... Like, high armor stat rules from Flawless or adept mm-hmm. weapons, at least with celerity, doesn't right. seem like it's that hard. And that's at mm-hmm. least at a minimum what should have been in there. I agree. I, I, absolutely. Absolutely. They, they've got to do it. They've got to do it. And um, like I said, hopefully, I, I'm very curious. See, the thing is, they're in a tough spot because, like I said, you got, you got this going on. They got to work with Steam because obviously it's PC only. But then, obviously, because of, you know, the virus, how staffed are they? You know what I mean? How quickly can they be agile to this? So they're they're really the tough spot. Not. That's what I said. Yeah, I, I'm 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 kind of leaning like I'm gonna be on PC for the weekend. I mean on the console for the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Until yeah. I just can't. It, it, it's just, it's just too rampant. And here's the other thing. I think I don't know if we talked about it last week. E. Um, if you went flawless already, no, nope. I shouldn't <laughs> see you in one to three. I shouldn't see you. I shouldn't see your icon that has the little Osiris thing on it with the lights. I shouldn't see anything if you already went flawless. Cause you should be in a separate loot queue, separate. So you, from so you the are the separate queues, bro. Get I them, them bro. Get, get them out. No Why idea. they on the playground? They just went to the lighthouse. Why are they at the playground bullying the kids? Yeah, Come on. <laughs> no, I, I agree. I just don't know logistically if it's possible it's probably not it's probably probably we'll see the thing is if you think about the if you think about the characters now they have a tag on the Mm -hmm. characters say hey you went you went to the lighthouse your armor glows if your armor Mm -hmm. glows you're not going to play me on my first card of the entire weekend that seems like i i agree on that one because Mm -hmm. somebody's probably a good point about adept but remember uh age of triumph in d1 the adept weapons yes and they were all the static roles Mm -hmm. yeah and they were all good static rolls. There were right. no crap weapon. What would be wrong with bringing uh, to trials for game seven? You get an adept weapon, which is a mm-hmm. god roll, mm-hmm. and it's a fixed roll. And that's like, like a, a, can you imagine a doctrine of passing with, yeah. like, say, multi kill clip and feeding frenzy? Oh my God. That's what you say. Yeah, fire. Everybody fire. would be killing themselves killing to get to themselves. seven wins to mm-hmm. have a sh- chance. And that's the only way you can get that gun. That's not going to exactly. drop from the world. And that would have everybody grinding up to yeah. game seven. Yeah, you well, could put heard... in curated roles like that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, absolutely. I also heard yeah. another idea was work it the way the sundial worked. You get to the end and you use your selection. You get your flawless, like, the they're pick. all unlocked, but you just pick one. And this is like, mm-hmm. you get your, and if it's not curated specifically just to give them more options but you go up there and be like hey i'm picking the shotgun for my flawless run on this character and then you'd have people going to the lighthouse and if you let them do that constantly with random rolls they would be yeah. just going to the lighthouse over and over and over Absolutely. and getting out of the Which bottom end of the, the card incentive too. for them to stay in it longer mm-hmm. and fight between that five to seven stay in that mix again stop bullying kids on the playground because, I mean, I can't get mad at them. It's the most efficient thing, right? You, yeah. you, you, you get to three, and you just keep farming oh, three. You get the tokens, you go see, you know, Saint, and boom, boom. But I, I'm with you, man. Arms. I, I miss the old bounty system. You know what I'm saying? I still, I don't, I don't know how I feel necessarily with the token stuff. The, the way it was before was, was fine to me because it just required participation for the people. Because, listen, here's the problem. The guys at the lower end, they're feeling crushed right now. They're feeling like I don't got a shot to get one win, right? Because they're getting pup stomped. No, so you got to give those guys hope. You got to give them guys mean, willing, to, the reason to stay in it. And the old bounty system, it's like, hey, play a couple of matches, get a couple of kills. It doesn't necessarily mean win. Sometimes it was just getting kills and just being active in the event. And it'll get them to stay in longer. Because you, you got to do, so, as much as I love Trials as the, the, you know, the competitive PvP endgame, you got to let the casuals, because somebody had a Reddit post. I don't know if you see it. It was, it was a good post. It was like, it was a casual guy. He's like, 
you want it sweaty? You want it this? Okay, you won, because we're leaving. <laughs> we're tired yeah, of getting absolutely. abused. It was a great post. And, and I'm a guy that is pro-hardcore for the PvP, but I, when I read it, I was like, you know what? He's right. Because if, right. if that base goes, it's just the sweaties. <laughs> versus yeah. sweaties. It, it could be fun. Anything that doesn't increase the population of PvP in this or any other game is bad for the game. Because yeah. you, you need as many people playing as possible for just the matchmaking to work because mm -hmm. uh i have a i mean a perfect example i have a friend that in he's over in australia sassy sassy's mm -hmm. one of those one percenters he's in fucking australia mm -hmm. so he matchmakes out of australia uh, mm -hmm. skill-based matchmaking doesn't work for sass because he ends up playing the same Game 12 game. dudes <laughs> every match <laughs> On skill-based matchmaking. Yeah. So it's like, <laughs> Sass will hang out with us when we're running sixes for Iron Banner in mm -hmm. our Discord chat and talk to us, but Sassy can't play with us. Because yeah. as soon as Sass jumps in, our game goes to shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, so I get it. So with the connection base and the car base for guys like Sass and Aura and, mm -hmm. you know, those guys that are true players yeah it's great for them mm -hmm. because you get the matchmaking you can you can get the easier games mm -hmm. but when the population goes down it don't matter you're just still playing with the same few hundred people over mm -hmm. and because pc is way smaller than the console yeah. it's like oh, yeah. as far as like when you get to this activity mm -hmm. yeah so i wanted to and ask you guys too on another thing for the population for base for comp which is a weird place now that's a whole different mm -hmm. animal um they put in the solo comp queue, the free stop freelance or whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. a freelance queue for trials. Do you guys think this would be? What do you guys think about that one? I'm surely curious. Yeah, I'm, uh, nah, probably no, probably no. Ooh, um, like but LMG I want to hear Manamar. You go, you go. I want to know why you say no. I want to know why. You say. And then I'll say I, why. To me, it's it just seems like it would be LFG for rates. Mm -hmm. I mean, in all honesty. I mean, to a point, it, but it's it like... It is defense, though. It is defense. I was you, like, we're how We're technically many... doing it in, uh, in, in comp. Yeah, I was like, we're comp's doing this. it. And, like, I mean, mm -hmm. if people want to go in there for... See, right there, Orchid. I love the freelance queue. And that's mm -hmm. one of those for the people who, like... I mean, you're going to have some crap games. You absolutely are. You're going to go in there. You're going to get mm -hmm. crap games. They're not going to go that well. But it's luck of the draw. Maybe you come in next time, you get paired up with God Sniper, and you're just like somebody who didn't have any to play with, be like, hey, I'm going to get a couple matches in. I don't have a team right mm -hmm. now. I'm going to go at least queue in. Man, I was ain't feeling this, man. I was See how it's going. No, it's it about I mean, this life. Th no, there's about a solid <laughs> argument for it. Yeah. There's a solid like, argument for it, but <laughs> I don't think, I think it's a Band-Aid on a bullet hole. Oh, and I agree with that. I, I was going to say, like, for it being a solo queue, it's like, yeah, the population would, maybe some solo queues would go in there and maybe they might get a feel for it. But in turn, mm -hmm. like, the rewards, the cheating, all the other stuff in trials itself, that's still an issue. Mm -hmm. But no, it's just I wondered if because I, I haven't heard Paul Tassi I honestly say it, think so. Yeah. I, I think solo queue. If you did solo queue trials, what it would be is you'd be everybody would jump in and try to get their three wins mm. by hooker. Because basically, to get three wins, you have what six tries? Because mm -hmm. you're allowed three losses for you have to restart a card. Yeah, right. So you so basically you run and you do your try to get your three wins in six games and then as soon as you get, just like the guys who are farming trials now you get your three wins you get your loot you pop out you start your card over mm. and it, so I, so there's a solid argument for it but oh wait, let me let me let me flip it though what if, what if the they they fix that part with the the three wins that we we we're complaining about and they they do what we want would you still have an issue with the the solo queue? Well, now you're trying to push to seven games mm -hmm. with randoms every match. And the, I can fully understand the yeah. frustration of like you're on game six, you have got your two losses, you're going into game seven, and you get, you know, Captain McGillicuddy. <laughs> Johnny Old who Johnny just showed Old up in game here. one yeah. with a point one three. <laughs> you you baby. Yeah. I feel you. I feel you. That, I can see I can see that being equally as frustrating. Yeah. So yeah. Well, I know, like I was saying, it's going to take, you know, like chat, chats are very good because they have a lot of suggestions and none of them are wrong. Yeah. The so picture, if, yeah. If, if you take all the suggestions and you slowly implement them, which is what I think Bungie is doing. Right. At the end of the marathon, you might have a good system. Right. Yeah. The but it's makes gonna, a good point. Get yeah, finish. I'm, I'm, I'm going to read what I don't know. I'm just, I'm just saying it's, it's not going to be perfect, but it's going, every changes don't happen by flipping a switch. Yeah. You want to make one change. It's you're talking about three to six weeks between planning, mm -hmm. testing, and release. 
yep. and then figuring out if it's bugged and it, then figuring it, out if it broke something else. Then you got to make other changes I'm, and it, I'm it's with you. not quick. Here's my issue though. They don't have three to six weeks with the cheating part. <laughs> That's just me. Now, as far as the wind stuff, they can get away because yeah, yeah, yeah. they could keep changing up the loop pool on what's the three, right? And they can make, make it put boots at the three. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? One week. And then you can call class, some people class down. items always down there at the bottom. Yeah, and they, oh, they, no, they and, might have to put the class yeah. out. They just they could just manually switch oh, yeah. the loop and they can get past that. But if they don't get this cheat thing together, this is really detrimental. You know, it's really detrimental. Now, as far as the fiction, when he made he made a good point about split not splitting the player base, um, while separating flawless from not. I, I do agree with him on that on that level because you you got to keep it all together. You can't have it that that split in itself. Even though I do like the idea of it, but it's not practical, like you were saying, man. Else, because at the end of the day, you're playing with three randoms, right? Then you're not keeping those three, at the, and you got to do it again. Would be another right. three randoms, another three randoms. That is almost I mean, impossible. but picture like solo queue mm -hmm. when you, people solo up to legend and comp. Yeah, but the problem is... I was like, you, that's going to get to a point where it's at least a little sweaty but, at the top and you can have some random luck in there. If you keep, if you put your head down and you keep playing, though, you can get to legend. True. Because it's like, and that's right. different as opposed to yeah. you lose that three and you're out, which does suck for sure. That, yeah. That, that, but, but that's reward for your time investment, even yeah, if right. you are a below average player. Yeah. So right. you do... It, this is and it's a, it's not a bad system, a hundred percent. I have not put my head down long enough to get to legend, which I right. finally need to do so I can get my unbroken. But mm -hmm. if it's you true. keep playing and playing and playing, you will eventually get to legend. Right? Yeah, it's just a matter of just playing. Yeah, it's just, just you just have to yeah. get there with an elimination style game mode. That is much harder. You know what I'm saying? It, it it really is. And then you kind of factor in all the randomness of the people who you are with versus where the, the opponents are with the card. It, it's a lot of variables, and more more importantly, just the base, it, the, it needs to be one pool because, again, if the numbers are going down, <laughs> you want to get the maximum amount of people in there as, as you can. That, that so, like, how would you how would you set up the bounties? Because I, the one I heard, and I'll let you go first, mm -hmm. but how would you set up the bounties to make them kind of enticing to multiple levels? Like, the only one, for That's, example, that yeah. I heard was instead mm -hmm. of making it even, like, wins, just make it, like, you know, you get a win for trials. Like, for one of them, you get a win... 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 rounds. Right. Even it was have like rounds like, that you win. Yeah, it, it was like, I think it was like that before. It was like rounds. It was like the amount of matches or the amount of grenade kills or the amount of what you call a kill. Nothing that required like three wins or five wins or stuff. Because again, that's another barrier, right? You're, you're telling a person who is not skilled, they've got to get a certain amount of wins just to even cash out. That's a problem right now. You, you, you're demoralizing these guys with the tokens. That's why, at least with the bounty system, it's literally, let's call it what it is, participation, right? It's, it's hey, get in there, do some things, and then at least you got a chance. Because there's some people, again, I got to shout my boy Cross. He said it. Like, I was one of those guys that I didn't have any metal weapons when I first started trials. But I kept playing week after week after week. And then one week, Doctor of the Passage dropped for me in that bounty. And then, boom, I'm in the mix now. You know what I'm saying? I'm in the yeah. competitive sphere. And sometimes that's all it takes, you know what I mean? So you got to give those guys hope to keep playing that they can at least get this kind of stuff. So that, I, I don't necessarily like the, the, the you got to win three in order to cash out. I'm going to be honest. That, that's the part I'm, I'm kind of struggling with right now. What you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's such a weighted question i didn't want this much pressure it's I mean, well i mean there, there's 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 several ways you could do it you could mm -hmm. even uh the crazy idea i had is make the adept weapons part of a triumph mm -hmm. and so well like for example to get like 15 war mine bits i gotta go shoot 50 people in the head with a sniper rifle Ooh. so what would be wrong with uh okay to get this adept eye of soul and this is the build and it's fantastic you have to get 300 trials wins That'd be cool. Investment. I mean, yeah, that, I mean it's, it's an engaged. investment. But if you want it, yeah, if you want go it, and get it. I, and prog I shot fifty people in the on, face with it. The higher the card, you're like the higher you are in a card, the more progress you make on something. Give that yeah, incentivization. Absolutely. People make people stay. I'm there. still absolutely. grinding out the Lumina quest. It's been months. <laughs> for her. It's, you do it's, it for, it's, for the catalyst or just the quest? Just to get the gun, because I'm just like, I got to roll around with this thing? Shit. This is bullshit. Run around with rows or whatever it is. Yeah. Get up. Yeah. But it, if, if, and I mean, but this has always been a thing. 
if the reward is great enough, then people will do the work, spend the time, and play. The reward okay. has to be great enough. The armor system is very broken right now. Oh. Mm. Don't get me started. It's I, I've got one really good Shattered Throne armor piece, like you had mentioned earlier, e, and everything else is okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I didn't have to spend eight gazillion resources to masterwork that. That was a free masterwork, so nice. I'll just slap that on for the time being. Yep. Nice, nice. And then I have my collection. Like I did a vault party the other day. I cl- I deleted like two hundred and something items out of my I vault. And it's like to. I got all this really great armor Please over grab here. Grab him up when you doing them vault party so he can. Mine is all we- mine is all weapons at this point. My armor is almost gone out of there. It's all weapon rolls. Oh no, it was almost all weapons. Like the armor mm-hmm. was just I like okay, I'm getting rid of all this because it's low stat. But it was yep. I just sat there and I was like okay, chat, yay or nay, and then it was just like then fights would break out. So <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> But with the armor, I have armor pieces that are, you know, 65 natural, 62 natural. They're just in my vault because I don't want to, I don't have the resources or time or the energy or the glimmer to masterwork that armor right now. To put some levels Oh, no, bro. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm broke, man. You worse than me. I'm the broke guy. Jesus. Always broke. <laughs> I'm out. Of, I'm out of that. What is it? Seraph, whatever. Because I was down to like. 10,000 glimmer the other day and I was I just started playing I'm like hey, spider here go just holla t- at spider please please holla oh, at he, spider no. I want to go rob spider I was like spider's his loan <laughs> shark right now and he owes him <laughs> that should be a game mode where you once once a, a month you can go do a mission to rob spider <laughs> <laughs> and the only reward is a buttload of resources there you go yeah I would you play that strike pass when you get your 50 <clears throat> you like rob okay. him and it's like you get a chance at 500 and be like I if you win but he's stuff. on like god tier 1060 grandmaster boss mode <laughs> I think you Grizzly says spider the hustler. <laughs> yeah, they stupid. <laughs> yeah. But my thing is, I always say this, yo, stay in comp. Comp is actually good for reasons. Oh, yeah. Man. It's really yeah. good, man. Cause you get because while you're doing that, you also get into Valor, right? Valor reset reset quick. You get your seven masterwork cards, you're getting all that stuff flowing, you're getting the money, and you're getting your bits if you got the um the the Seraph thing, you unlock oh, yeah. the thing yeah, that you yeah. upgrade. Yeah. The bunk upgrade and stuff like that. Comp has been actually pleasant as far as staying in there and just grinding and getting stuff. You know what I mean, I've been I've been doing pretty well in that. But um, yeah, and then now's the weekend. You better get in that uh, that knife pool, sir. You gotta do it, man. It's the only thing I've left. Like for the whole week, I have nothing. I've I have closed out. If every, I can do, it's gamut, like if I, I can I do a thousand on my own, I know you can do it. So that thing sucks on your own, though. By the way, because this is the one where it has three champions. All three. Wow. So you got to find some way to manage them all, or you're punching unstoppable guys and praying you don't get punched back. A thousand, you go into orbit if you die? Mm, no, but you will restart okay. a section like a checkpoint. You restart a section. Okay. So if you're by yourself, it's dicey. Yeah. No, I want to ask. This is the first. What? Go, go ahead. ahead. Mm-hmm. I know, this is the first season I've ever paid attention to the, uh, the seasonal mods. They're fun. I've just never yes. bothered with it. They're a lot I'm of fun. Forward. I have. I got one on something. I don't know what it is, and I got to go back and look at it. But apparently, if I punch anything with a charge melee, it creates an orb. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, boy. this is so, sick. is it with the arc subclass? It's probably the arc. Oh yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. I'm always arc. So yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's yeah, like so if you do tyrant. anything with if you do any arc damage, not even kill, like an arc ability mm-hmm. damage, it drops anything. a charge. So a grenade, super, a melee, a grenade, super, arc, drop the yeah. charge. So it's like very, one of the most reliable mm-hmm. ways to get those things to drop. Love it. Yeah, so that's, that that's huge in PvE because mm-hmm. it's in any activity. Yep. I had him dropping in Leviathan the other day. I was like, okay. <laughs> it's crazy, <laughs> right? You got to get the one, you got to get the one that um also expands the the um the radius of the blast. Global, global reach. Global reach. Yep. Yeah, global reach. And then there's another one. That is good against unstoppables and overloud champions. That's Once the, it blows up, that's a artifact mod. Mm-hmm, Level mm-hmm. four, so that one. Yeah, you have one where one. it's the void one. If you equip that one, you can shoot mm-hmm. it like once, and it does the void pulse, where it kind of basically staggers everybody, kind of yes. walks them around like they're like flash banged. Oh, they do it. They do the blow. Really? I yeah, you can get the vo- and you can actually and because it takes a lot of shots sometimes to break the uh, mm-hmm. war mine yeah, cell. So you can yeah. shoot it and be like, Poof, and everybody's just like staggering. And you're like working on one guy. Shoot it a couple more times. Poof, stuns him again. They're just kind of staggering Ooh, around. You can like farm that, that stun. And then I if you get the, it, I gotta use it. Yeah, and mm-hmm. then if you pair the global reach with the large burning solar explosion, 
paired with mm-hmm. that one, paired with dropping another cell with arc. Like, mm-hmm. if you have, this is like, that is the most, like, build-centric thing I've seen in this game ever. Mm-hmm. If you want to build yeah. around Warmind Cells, you can put a mod on every piece of armor. Every single, yeah. And then when we get that machine gun coming, then you can mm-hmm. have it in all three weapon slots dropping that thing. It's going to be, like, legit. Now, I wanted to ask you, yeah. like, Aries asked going back to Trials. Yo, He's like, I know we talked about bounties and stuff. Do you want, mm-hmm. he's asking, it's like if they took out tokens and just did the bounties as stuff to work towards, yeah. would you be okay with that? Do you like the tokens at yeah. all? Do you want them gone? I wanted to kind of clarify Listen, on that it, one. It, they, they don't disgust me, but I, I don't feel there was nothing wrong with the old way of doing it. So if they made that decision to get rid of them, yeah, I'd be happy. Because at the end of the day, the bounties are just rewarding the play. Just, just, just play, do what you got to do. Don't put this, you know, this this walled garden on it and then you know the farming stuff i think that that would alleviate some of it at least and then just incentivize and you know rewards five to seven on like we talked about early and stuff like that but back to your point with the with the cell stuff is um yeah man um i i actually love this seasonal mods like these seasonal mods i'm having a ball man and it's like i get excited i hit you see the ball drop, you're like, oh, <laughs> gotta shoot it. No. Like, yeah, you, I'm, like, I'm like, who's next to who? Who will play with me? Who next to the ball? Exactly. I, want the ball. Give me the ball. Give me the I love ball. it, man. Especially doing the um the the the, uh, the legendary what is it called uh, lore sectors and stuff. Mm-hmm. You can really create cool synergy with that stuff. So I got it, man. This is the first season where seasonal mods are lit. It it's is, fun. Yeah, it's really fun. This mechanic, they got one. They did the season of dawn in yeah, charge like yeah. Not that it wasn't powerful. But this is more practical, effective use in the actual <laughs> last week. She's literally having a ball. <laughs> yes. Having a ball. I, yes. That's, that, that's the type of time I'm on right now. It's, it's fun. Really fun. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. It's like I was, they have slowly, and I'm curious, we're going to get a couple more from IO next week because mm-hmm. we get two mods mm-hmm. in each bunker. Mm-hmm. I'll be curious if those I'm disappointed it's else. not open this week. Oh, we man. Did. I could have used I'm it this I'm really week. disappointed it's yeah. not open this week. Well, so, so, I mean, Okay, I'm going right. to have a, a bunch of tokens right when it opens up by the time Tuesday rolls around. Yeah. So I'm going to be able to close out probably half of it, if not mm-hmm. 75% of it. And it's just like, you know, eh, it's just more fun to be able to go and grind all that stuff. And just, <laughs> yeah, just give us all just three in the like, And I'm done yeah. for the week. And it's like, well, shit. You know, they That's, I'm like sitting at 4,700 right now. So I'm gonna be able, I'm gonna be able to walk yeah, in. That's from- I'm gonna be able to walk in and be like done. And like well then this is my joke of every podcast we keep doing. I'd be like, my first hour, done. Now what do I do for two weeks? How do you have forty seven hundred <laughs> what are you doing? Just, you play. You just yeah, get a ton I've of just them. Been pl- strikes? Like, crucible. I've been working on Anything. nightfalls. You can do lot sectors like and I'm always picking up those dumb bounties. I'm yeah. always picking up those warm. Oh yeah, bounties. so you going back? Are... Yeah, 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 yeah. So oh, like... yeah, I'll jump. I'll jump back. That's why I have no money there because they're three thousand dollars a battle. Cash out, they cash out. You gotta have but rain. Yeah, you gotta I... have rainmaker working all the time. All gotta the be time. Making it rainmaker, rain. yeah. Gotta yeah, but rain. I immediately, as soon as I'm done with my balance, and go back to to the bunker, grab five more. Oh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm, just believe me, my glimmer goes. Yeah, spider. Yeah, Let me ask both of y'all this: Are both of y'all using that um encrypted war mine bit thing that clears the bunker out for the week? Nope. Do y'all use that? No, no, no never do. Okay. okay just no, you just just go in and run it once a day. It's fun. I mean, it's Honestly, it's, it's like it's kind of fun. it is fun. I do like it. Yeah. Okay, I love just charging through everything. I'm like, I'm turning on Robo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like when he keep... come out. <laughs> just go to the final dude. boss room. There's a shrieker above me. I don't care. I gotta turn big boy on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I literally go a, like a sweeping run, like underneath the shrieker, trying to dodge, go around the brick, pick up Warbind, buddy. Go grab my Valkyrie, turn around, chunk the spear at the at the. I like I'm trying to have a game of it and see if I can not die. Dude, when it was on easy, it's the fun. shrieker though, it's fun. he's painful when he's on top yes. of your head. I have to admit, it's, it, it's, fun. it's fun to try the beat to clear the bunker improperly. <laughs> like, there's way better ways to do this. I'm not using any of those ways. Because <laughs> there's no way. risk. I mean, it's like the only thing that's going to happen is you're going to die. And then yeah. you're going to come yeah. right back. It's like, you, come right it's back. Like, you can actually mm-hmm. have fun with it. Yep. I agree. Like, I'm doing this melee only. <laughs> <laughs> you got to fun with it, man. You get crazy. Melee I'm only. That's, well, that's the nice thing is you can pick up the bounties when you start the bunker before you go in it to be like, all right, how am I going yeah. in here? Okay, cool. I can punch stuff. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Whatever you need to do, mm-hmm. go on in. 
And that's, yeah. so yeah, it's a lot of repeatable bounties. Um, I mean, Aries said it, and I made a video on it that seems to have mm -hmm. some traction. Joys of thumbnails that are um, clickbaity. Salute. Salute. Uh, <laughs> they happen. Salute the bait. But Mayhem is honestly, like, if you want to, like, pass some time, watch a Netflix show and Destiny at the same yeah. time, Mayhem. Just go in there, blow some yep. stuff up every couple matches, 26 bits, and you get 26. 26. Yeah, it's like 26 from a match. Like, you can do three legendary law sectors. You can do pub mm -hmm. public events till you're blue in the face, but just, like, a quick five-minute match, probably the fastest thing you can do. You're now, right. somebody said they got yeah. a crap ton of them from Gambit Prime. I need to go see how many are dropping from You know, Gambit Prime is lit. Gambit Prime is lit. I've been in Gambit Prime. I can't finish a game. Why not? Are you, are you getting a crash? Oh. Yeah, I got oh. I finished one game all week because I even, I got physically depressed. Like, I, I killed this. I played two uh, games a game. I'm like, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm done for the day. Well, so you getting, like, beaver so stuff? Oh, yeah. I got beaver, bee, <laughs> gopher. <laughs> There's, there bird, are zoos. All these things. There's a zoo in my computer right now, and I cannot figure out where they all are at. Um, no, Gamp, I know there was an issue like in the start of the season. Like If people leveled up their season pass while you were in a game, you would kick the other team. That was a thing, too. You didn't see about that? Nine. Oh, yeah. No, no, I, didn't, I didn't know they had, to, they had figured it out to that degree. Some people had said like yeah. if they leveled up their season pass, either turning in bounties or something mm -hmm. during the match, because people would be like two-thirds through and be like just kick the other team out or something like that. And then they'd win or lose. It was the weirdest thing. And I was like, this is bizarre stuff. So I haven't touched Ooh. Gambit mostly except just to get the powerfuls as I was leveling. I don't need to do it anymore, I've but in, I've been in I've, I've, chilling. I've done uh, two baby gambits and mm -hmm. one gambit prime this baby week. Gambit. <laughs> baby gambit. That's it. Baby gambit. <laughs> baby gambit. And it's, that's all I could. That's all I could do. I'm just like, I had a bunch of, uh, I picked up a bunch of bit drifter miles. I'm like, just delete, delete, delete. I'm done. It's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll next week. Maybe. That's Another not time, okay, not right now. I realize that. It's sad in here. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah, that going on. With no, I was like Iron Man. <clears throat> what was the twop? There wasn't much in the twop. There wasn't much. Yeah. <clears throat> no, I wanted to see your guys' thoughts about the Iron Banner quest and uh, Man at Arms. If you played it last week at all, while I clear my throat, I, I was done in four hours with everything. So I had a good run. Knocked it out. I. I I understand everyone's frustration with it. Mm -hmm. And it's the same thing every season. You have to do this long quest. This one, we had a, we had a weapon attached to it, not just the mm -hmm. bounties. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're really stressed about knocking it out the first week, right. you're, then you're really stressed about knocking it out the first week. I got lucky. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I just I, I had a nice flow. It was me all, too. with the exception of the bow at the, the bow. very end, which took mm -hmm. me, I think, like two, maybe two and a half games to finish because mm -hmm. I finished mm -hmm. it in the middle of a match and I'm like, get this shit off of me. Yeah, you're like, yeah. back no to playing. I can actually play the game now. Is mm -hmm. like, well, that's that's was where I was going with all this. It's kind of, I have a tradition. I always play Iron Banner with the boys when mm -hmm. it comes around. It's our day. Yeah. We we do yeah. it on a Wednesday yeah. and. With the quest is is kicking, it's just like you, I'm not really playing Iron Banner. I'm playing this quest, and it's sometimes it's stuff I like to do. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's I'm never going to use a sidearm, but you, you know, yeah, they're fun. They work good. They're great. Mm -hmm. I don't play that way, right? So it it take, took a little bit of the joy out of you know kicking it with the guys and okay. playing Iron Banner. But uh, it's over with now. It's over with for the season. <laughs> it's over with now. <laughs> I have a bow I'm never going to use. People ever. Like it, and so I, I made fun of myself. It was like me. I never used a bow. Also me. I fucking need that bow. Because <laughs> that's just how I am. Must okay. check that box. All the boxes. Okay. But uh, mm -hmm. I mean, Lord Saladin's rewards could do with some improvement because I I have a lot of a lot of my high stat armor is Iron Banner armor. Yes. Yes. Yep. I don't really want to go and open up 300 Iron Banner packages. Mm -hmm. The the weapons could use some love. Yo, yeah. When are we getting some weapon refreshes? Like how many I, criminals, I, daggers, and and and, and I feel you. Cause of the wolf, and I mean, I. I when are we getting? It? I've never seen Iron Banner go for this stretch of time. I mean, like, reused remember D1, armor. Reused every armor Iron sets? Banner, we yeah. would get a new weapon, yep. or you know, weapons. It would be maybe a set of two to three, and it's like I've every not... few months. Yes. Yeah, like this you is. You would get a weird. refresh. Iron Banner ain't getting no love. Then we let's be real. It's that we bandwidth. We mix <clears throat> bandwidth. Yeah, team, the B team. Like I keep telling you. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, they, oh, and then we get remixes 
of early D2 Iron Banner armor with a slot. <laughs> let's call, let's uh, call it what it is. I don't know why they weren't ornaments. Oh, I know. Legit. I don't know why Thank they were not you. ornaments. They I don't all know why be, they were I not agree. ornaments. All should be ornaments I at this point. I don't know why the faction armor is back in the world and it's not just an ornament. Because it yeah. seems like, to me, that takes up space that it yep. shouldn't have to take yeah. up. And they don't have the seasonal mod, which I heard they, we, we, we're going to talk about. They're going to add eventually with an update. But I was like, but I mean, why, why go through all of that in the first place? Why have every one of my prime engrams is a mm. piece of crap old set of armor, or it's one of the faction ones, which doesn't have a mod right now. So I got something with 65 stats. I'm like, damn. And it doesn't have a mod slot on it. I'm like, it's unusable. Yeah, and, and I can't, like, like awesome. infuse the yeah. stats into it. I'm just like, cool, you're a thousand. You're just dead to me, though. What the hell? Like, it's, mm -hmm. oh, that stuff. But, yeah, it's like armor. Mm, I have so many issues with armor, but I'm with the, you The on armor that system's way too busy. The, the weapons, I mean, the problem is I've had the best version of every Iron Banner gun forever now. Me too. It's been ridiculous. Oh, I see a roar so of the bear drop, and I'm like, I have mine. I'm good. Well, I'm going to raise I have the had it. I Every, don't remember, what, yeah. what's the 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 freaking well, claws of the wolf what's the the, yeah, the, the, the submachine gun the, the submachine sub gun, gun. Breath yeah. of the Dragon. i have one of those that's disgusting mm -hmm. and still don't use it but it's like i had nine of them in my inventory and i'm like why do i have nine of these i already have the best one yep so yep. there's no incentive for me there's to go no and open incentive. packages besides to get a triumph that i really don't care about i agree i agree i am banner armor and weapons really have to be addressed like it is way too long you know we, we've been crying about the faction stuff but yeah it, this is just there's no incentive literally i'm just doing it for pinnacle infusion <laughs> so <laughs> i wanted to become. this is like this kind of leads into a topic of what like Forte mm -hmm. and my brother and we were talking about last night had them Scary. on we were just talking with chad what did i miss what did i miss oh it would have been fun last night because it's something we've talked about before but you know want to get a third pair of ears and chat please chime in on this one because it's the idea mm -hmm. So right now, Bungie is in, they're in a tough spot. And right now, specifically in the middle of the virus stuff, they're in a tougher spot because they're working from home. Yeah. You know their, mm -hmm. their mm -hmm. throughput is not even what it should be on just Bungie being on their own standards. It's even less than it mm -hmm. is now. Potentially somewhere there's a D3 being in the works. If you, We got the B team on this, if you're saying that one. And I hate saying mm -hmm. B team. I would say D2, I, D2 live what? team. Call them that. Why I get Man, I'm never gonna say B team. I'm never gonna <laughs> call somebody no a bungee a B team because they're BT. better than most of them out there. So that's why I'm gonna salute, say that. Salute to my dude. All right, so we gotta say the live team. The bungee live the, uh, team. That's yeah. the politically correct way. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have we I confirmed do. they're actually working on a D three? We don't know. That's yes. the first question. I was yes. like, no one knows. <laughs> yeah. Where? Send me links, motherfucker. They work. I'll, send you, I'll, send I'll send you links. They work. Okay, mm. I believe you. I trust you. And and another game. Matter. Well, that's what that's I was getting to. Is like matter mm -hmm. is a thing. I don't know if that's Christopher mm -hmm. Barrett working on it by his little colorful logo, but somewhere there was 150 million dollars that came into that company from NetEase, yep. and then matter got announced mm -hmm. as a thing. So, mm -hmm. and you have next gen consoles coming out this fall. Somebody's got to be working on a port, the UI, the fixes to have that thing run potentially 60 games, higher frame rate, higher field of view. Somebody's got to mm -hmm. make sure that thing runs good on the new consoles. If Sony and Xbox aren't the same either. That's a thing. So mm -hmm. you have all of those working against what we're playing right now. Right. So here's the question. And this is going to kind of open a can that we've previously closed. Do it. Um, would you Don't rather, <laughs> would you rather at this point, this is kind of where I'm like, we're sitting here. We're like, Hey, we're kind of like, Hey, the bunker's done. When I log in in two weeks, grandmaster nightfall looks like it has 40,000 mean nightfall modifiers on it. Do I really want to do that for more tokens? And, other stuff are these smaller seasons that we're kind of getting now if the throughput of like you know you're you were saying trials is trials weapons should not have been the limiting factor on the season because they're like, dude you should have been working on those for two years yet we know that trials weapons limited ritual weapons we know that was actually stated so it's like would you rather have either bigger breaks or like say if you like if you say they are working on d3 is there a point where, like, do you keep putting a bad taste in people's mouth? Trials coming out broken. Seasons being small. Bugs not being QA'd because testing is apparently a little shorter. Do you continue to do season after season? And then September, as Forte was saying, is going to be the bigger idea of what we're going to expect for a little while. But 
do you keep putting that bad taste in people's mouths so when D3 comes out, they're like, I don't want to buy the third version of this thing you've been beating me down on for a while? Or is there a point where if Bungie finally is just candid and is like, dude, we are trying to work on D3, even with the virus especially, we, like, we don't want to keep putting the seasons out. We want to take a break and work on this new thing so the whole team is focused. Is there a point mm -hmm. that you would be either okay with the break? Do you lose the player base as we've talked about before? Do you worry about the D3 having enough life to come back? Mm -hmm. Or is the break a good or bad thing? So there's like 60 let, questions in what I just said. Go. That's like yeah. five questions. But yeah. I'll admit, I already got my theory, unless he wants me to go. But I already got my theory on what's happening. But Go, go with your theory. And then I I'm going to tell you how you're I, wrong. <laughs> no, listen. I I've love always that. Be like, go, and I'm, I'm gonna kidding. go ahead and disprove everything yeah. you said. Listen, I've always been a fan of the expansion part, but I think the the seasons are the break. I think the seasons, the way they're structured, is hurry up and wait. <laughs> Let's be real, right? Do this, wait. Do this thing, then the quest's gonna come two weeks. Do this thing, grind that. You know, it, it, everything is obelisky. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and this whole serif bunker and putting things in and charging things up to, to time gate and slow us down. For, let's be real. We could do this thing in about a week. If, we, if you give us full reign and all these things are accessible, we'll blaze this. So yes. their whole thing is, look, we don't got the resources. We don't got the band, right? We've got matter. We've got D3. They've admitted it when we had GCX, right? They said they couldn't. What was the old name? Because it, now it's called the season pass. Well, I think it was now it's called the annual pass, and then was before it's called the season pass. Whatever it was called before, they said they annual couldn't. Pass was before these were season pass, right? So they said they couldn't maintain the structure of the. It was too much, so they have to make changes, and I think that's what we're seeing now. So ultimately, they can have enough bandwidth to do these other things. Thus, you have the live. <laughs> on it and you know doing what they do so i mean to me listen i'm not as disgusted because in the back of my mind i know what's going on and e you'll be proud of me i've been very nice you know normally old cog i'll be blasting them. i'll be like this is garbage this is who's working this big studio this is unacceptable but i understand what's going on you know what i mean so my thing is we got to get d3 hopefully 2021 2022 hopefully Ish. Ish, Ish, you know, <laughs> and um, not the, the the thing is gonna be, they've got to knock out because the the vibe I'm getting right now is one raid a year, one dungeon a year. I'm warning people now. I I think they're already setting this thing up because they know they're not ready for D three. So I think the the new expansion in September, we'll get the raid, we'll get a what you call it, you know. But for now, get bunkified, get get obelisk. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Uh, get I, I hate obelisk. to say it. <laughs> obelisk, a new verb <laughs> added to the English dictionary today. Obelisk. I, I hate to break it to y'all, man. This is where, and, and, and here's the other thing, too. Let's be real. This is probably the first time. You're you going to love my transformation, what I'm about to say. <laughs> this is going to be the time you have to dust off that, all your, your backlog of games that you ain't finished. Hey, if Division ain't. It's don't be eating apples and smiling. I see your face. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm, I've bent the knee on this. I, I already see what has happened, right? So this is the time. Go, go check out. Once you finish your bunk, go do, do it up in another game. Then when they time un, untime gate something, you come back and do. That's what they're on right now. It, it's clear stall tactics because the content is still not there. That, that's just my opinion. But man, and arms, I'll let you go. You tell me why I'm wrong. <laughs> I mean, you're not wrong. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? You're, you're not wrong. Um, <laughs> Podcast he's not, over. He's not wrong. <laughs> they're, um, to, in order to bring in new content, they're getting to the point to where stuff's going to have to go away. They're going to have to delete stuff. I've been joking. Just destroy Mercury, and that's fine. <laughs> oh, I, want, I want the Leviathan <laughs> to just swallow Nessus. <laughs> or, I mean, I'm I'm okay with that. It would make sense. It's been eating it for it's three been, years now. I True. know. It's like it's sitting right there. I'm like, dude, somebody like tripped over the motor and like, it'll, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, oh. But I mean, they're, they're releasing content now that's going away at the end of the season. Like we just did the whole sundial thing, which was a nice little you know little activity. Uh, it's I gone wish that forever. would have been a strike. <clears throat> I wish that would just stay as a strike. Yeah. Like, why not? Yeah. Oh. 
Well, I mean, it's... I miss strikes. Get, Remember when we had strikes? New <laughs> strikes. Yeah. Don't get me started on Imago Loop, bro. Don't, Yo, don't. Oh, oh, shit, man, I miss strikes. I miss strikes started. so much. Like, I was so excited just to get that one now. Um, What's the one that used to be the PlayStation exclusive? Bird Soul, Habit doing one? I played it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, so good. It's and the one that Eris pops in, and, and Zavala's like, oh, Eris, how long have you been here? You know what I'm saying? Then she's going into her little spiel. Like, yep. I miss strikes. Like... The little things, man. The vendor refreshes. It's so. And somebody even asked earlier in the chat, like, what would you rather, you know, them do this kind of stuff or, you know, the the, the refreshes. It, it, it's tough, man. It's tough. But it, continue, man. I'll, I'll, I'll let you finish. No, I was just, I was just saying. I mean, D three is eventually going to happen. We're all going to buy it. Yeah. We're all addicted. We're not going to abandon our community, Ooh. our friends. So, I mean, let's let's be very real. D two vanilla was not ready it was a hot mess we all still bought it, still bought it. we all still played it yep. <laughs> and i mean you're gonna run into content droughts where i mean i did it myself i jumped off and i started playing rainbow six and mm -hmm. sea of thieves for like 20 minutes i did that that was i was a that was an awesome 20 minutes that was an awesome 20 minutes i was like that's a good well, i mean <laughs> to be fair to Rare, I mean, they, they were Microsoft beat the shit out of them to get that game out. They were very <laughs> transparent about what was going on behind the scenes. If you go play Sea of Thieves now, that's a fantastic game. But they, they, kicked, they got in front of all the bad press said, listen, we know it's not perfect, mm -hmm. but this is what we did today. Like they'd have weekly live uh, podcasts. Yeah. Yep. And I'm like, that's amazing. And mm -hmm. so no, it, all respect to them. So, but I am going to make fucking fun of you. I mean, shit. <laughs> But yeah, you're going to get to those points where you're going to have to go find something else to do. And it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You don't have to make a public announcement. I'm quitting Destiny. Well, I'm go quitting. fucking quit for the eighth time, you motherfucker. It's exactly. fine. Exactly. Because you know you're like, coming back. back. Yeah. That's the mm -hmm. key. I'll see, I'll see you when the next DLC drops. It's fine. Thanks. But uh, in order like to get another Forsaken, something's probably going to have to go away at this point. Mm. I mean, Ooh. there's going to have to be a large piece of content going nexus well like you know he was making a joke but the leviathan eating uh nessus and then leviathan going away that would free up all kind of space yeah i mean i, I mean it's sad because we always had the raids all the way through to age of triumph you know mm -hmm. in d1 I know. but I know. today is not yesterday so if you need to yeah. clear space i mean there's not a whole lot of people running Leviathan. <laughs> no. I did it this week. Had some people nice enough to help me get through it because I'm mm. still trying to finish my Acreus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Know, I gotta get that. Three or four PC. years later. I think I, I think I still uh, need the final catalyst version or whatever. I think I just have yeah. like the normal. I'm still I have to do the prestige. One. Yeah, that's what I need last, to do. Yep. That's which I'm that'll be do. a nightmare because I'm a horrible Hold I'm on. I'm very La horrible Laz at rating. Lazarus the drop the bomb in the chat. And I've been thinking about this. So I got I to oh, ask yeah, it. No. Yeah, dare I ask, was the separation of Bungie from Activision a good thing now that we've had a year to digest it? That is a very good question. Very good question. I got to bring it to you, E. What do you think, man? Before, you know, we had, we had resources. We had bandwidth. We had things. What do you think? Go back under the evil umbrella? <laughs> no, not after the way Go Blizzard, cuddle with not the after the way Blizzard cuddle, went down. Cuddle with your sugar daddy? That, no. So, <laughs> these are what I would call growing pains, and they mm -hmm. are brutal right now because Bungie either had capacity, salary, mm -hmm. whatever was there before, multiple studios helping. I don't know how big they were, but obviously they're bigger than we think they were. Mm -hmm. uh, I still think, hopefully, if I think I would, that I can only answer that question when I see what D3 turns into. Because right mm -hmm. now, the seasons are, as you're saying, their way to get to their next vision. Mm -hmm. So, and I don't know if that vision would have been able to be them without Activision, but I was like, I think I'll have to see D3 before I can finally answer that question. But let's answer the question for right now, as of what we've seen. Right now, we're at almost what, it was full year, right? How long has it been? I mean, separation? Shadow Keep was pretty sweet. Shadow Keep, yeah, Shadow Keep was theirs, right? So we haven't, we're not a full year yet, right? Mm -hmm. When did they leave? Shadow well, Keep represents it, the first it, DLC it, it'd minus, be fall, wouldn't it? yeah. So September will be a full year. This yeah. September will be a full year separation. Okay, so up until this point, 
how are you feeling about Bungie Solo? Let's get it, man of arm. All right, let me, I'm going to answer your question with a question. Mm -hmm. Have you been paying attention to what the distributors are doing to other games, right? Yes. Has any of it been good? No. That's the I'm answer to the question. <laughs> because they are literally, well, I mean, what they're literally doing is, mm -hmm. so the whole loot box thing still exists, but it's not as prolific as it was. It's not as predatory hey, as it I, was. I got, I, I got a counter. Oh, I've on, got but, to, I, I, you can make the argument that Eververse is worse than it ever was under Activision with Bungie don't right buy, now. Don't buy shit. It's fine. <laughs> You can say that, but they're still doing the practice. We it's can't a, ignore a, the but practice. They're, 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 they're sitting there and they're just saying, saying if you want to buy the shit, the shit is for, cool. They're you charging for stuff that costs more and just as much as the expansion itself. <laughs> it's the, the, pricing, the pricing can be tweaked. Yes. I'm not going to argue that. I'm okay. not going to argue that. Okay. I don't buy a lot of stuff at the Eververse. Uh -huh. When I see something I like, I'm like, this is expensive. I still mm -hmm. buy it. Why? Because I'm a grown ass man with money. Mm -hmm. It's fine. I can do okay. that. Okay. All right. Exhibit B. Bugs. We have seen the most unstable, broken version of the game since they have left. There's every week there's something wrong. There's there's a there's a beaver. There's a exotic that's broken. There's oh we ain't get a chance to fix. I, I got I got I got evidence, man. We can go through these twelve. Oh no, and I'm with you. It, oh, is that a sign of like the state of like? Destiny 2 All being like I'm an older engine or that. When, when we had our sugar daddy, these problems were not existing. You cut, you cut out, you cut you out. Cut out. out. <laughs> Ever since we had our sugar daddy, and I, that's Activision, that's Bungie censoring me, right? We didn't have these issues, right? As soon <laughs> as soon, yeah, Bungie got me. They, they, they not about none of this I'm talking about. They like shut him down. He is not invited to the studio no more. <laughs> I get it. I get it, Bungie, but I got to talk to the people. When Activision is around, we didn't have these issues. Every week, we've got a problem. Bellwinter's disabled. That's the, come on, man at arms. Me, come me, on. But Be real with no, problems. It's stability. Game stability. Look at, look at how much new stuff is being released every, all the time. All mm -hmm. the time. New items. Mm -hmm. New gear. New exotics. Right. All this stuff. New activities. Mm-hmm. I am not a programmer. Once you introduce one thing into the ecosystem that is a game world mm -hmm. with the quote unquote spaghetti code that Destiny yeah, is built on, yep, yep. shit just goes wrong. I, it's going to happen. Something now that I'm, I'm not defending Bungie as far mm -hmm. as there have been things in the past they should have tested more and should have caught. And I've screamed from the rafters like, how, how, how did you do this? <laughs> But mm -hmm. when you introduce a handful of exotics for each class mm -hmm. and you throw that into a new activity, mm -hmm. things are going to happen. But the they didn't happen when the Activision was around. Why they wasn't well, happening then? We now didn't get the, them on the same cadence well, either. No, no. Well, yeah. I was like, with, the, with the connectivity, you can, uh -huh. you can absolutely blame what's going on in the real world right now. Okay. Because the bandwidth that is being absorbed by the internet mm -hmm. service providers right. is Oh yeah, no, absolutely. That that's insurmountable. Real. It legit. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, listen, you can watch Netflix, and Netflix will go. Hold on, I gotta take a break. All right. And it just be like, there's no signal, and you just you have to wait it out. And all of a sudden, your movie starts back up okay. because there's more people at home. There's probably more people at different times a day playing on the Bungie server. Right. That. They, I mean, how many people really play at nine o'clock in the morning on a weekday? Let's be That's real. Let's be. But I mean, five. but it's real. Most yeah. most people will be playing after five, six o'clock in the evening, mm -hmm. and and vice versa as the time zones go. And when you go around the world, mm -hmm. you know, you have more people on the servers right now. Hold Not on, to hold mention, Out Sanity said, "What? Well, don't forget to tell y'all about the missing currency twice." <laughs> Well, I mean, that's just, that's just a, shit gonna happen. Oh, yeah? You, you see, they happen. got a lot of excuses for Bungie on their own. <laughs> Y'all I mean, see, they got a lot of excuses, man. Shit's gonna break. <laughs> shit is gonna, if you put new shit in the game, shit is gonna break. Well, and that's kind of the thing, too. We're on season 10. We had three years, as you're saying, either with, with more spacing, by the way, for testing. So we had mm -hmm. D1, we had Crota, we had Wolves, <laughs> we'll take, and we we'll had House big. of Wolves, and we had... Take it, Taken King. 
that was literally mm-hmm. over the course of two years. There were, and then like D1 obviously mm-hmm. had those things obviously preloaded, kind of planned out before, but you had Taken King. You had a year. You had an entire yes. year with mm-hmm. nothing. You had no exotics and 18, introduced. An 18 month shotgun meta when that happened too. Yeah, but daddy had to get the whip, get Bungie's whip, whip him into shape. Now there's no one to whip him into shape. No, but that's not, that's not the whole point is not, you are on season 10 of exotics going in. You have 80, I think there's literally 150 exotics in the game between weapons and armor at some point, And they could bring three new a season and they try them. Some don't work and like, okay, so testing. And it's just like this, the speed at which stuff is coming at this point is continuous and ongoing. So on top of like the internet issues with steam, they're trying the new, like, Steam ID instead of IP so people don't get DDoS. Other cheating mm-hmm. is an issue, but that's a thing. So mm-hmm. they have that that launches at the same time with error codes, and then on top of trying to continually feed you stuff, hence mm-hmm. the idea of, like, do you want the break, or do you want the, you know, do you want this stuff to keep going? Well, also, in, in the real world, how many, you don't actually have a ton of people physically at the studio. Mm-mm. Right. So that's... But but let's be, come on now now I gotta stop you. Listen that this the virus that just happened. We had all these problems before the virus. Oh, no no let's no no. Come I on get now. That. I get let's that. not act like the virus was all from all the way to September and oh, no, been, like, nobody's uh, in the studio. They've been but like having the, the weekly reset, for example. Though. No no, no <laughs> this this is this is an excuse for everything. But like the okay. weekly reset. So the right. weekly reset's generally like five minutes. The weekly reset was thirty five minutes. Right. The reason there's a weekly reset is they literally go into the Bungie server yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Physically and physically clip this and right. reset the server and refresh the server. Mm-hmm. It means you have to have people go into a workplace that is a quarantine mm-hmm. workplace. Maybe mm-hmm. you're using two guys instead of 10. Okay. And then when shit reboots and shit's not right, well, you got two guys there to try and fix it and get it back on. So, I mean, mm-hmm. things like this are going to happen. The fixes are going to slow down. But I hope so, man. Bungie is very transparent. When you buy shit on Eververse for money, it goes to Bungie. Mm-hmm. Is it overpriced? A lot of it is overpriced. A lot of it is overpriced. But the question is, you know, we listen, like you said, if you're going to buy it, buy it, right? It's up to you. That No one's putting a gun in nobody's head. Nobody's sticking nobody up to go buy, right. you know, these ornaments, right? But we have to admit, based on a lot of this, because I see people at the top, top with all this stuff on. So people are buying, oh, yeah. right? So my thing is, remember when Luke came out with the whole um, what's he what he, he with the transparent blog that he does? What's director's the name of it? You know, director's cut. All right, he had made a point that said, "Hey, because of this blah blah blah, and y'all spent on this whatever verse, we was able to do that paid for zero hour. That paid for this. I want to know." What's paying for all this stuff? What What are we getting? You're paying for <laughs> but, the seasons but, but, now, man. I'm sure. I'm just saying, man, because I'm I'm not I'm not seeing that yet. You're depositing I feel like... that money into the D3 bank. So that's D3. You saying? Okay, uh-uh. right. I'm guessing. I, I, I'm, honestly, I'm curious. But there's, I'm we curious. just talked about like matter D3, next gen, and the live service seasons. Pick mm-hmm. a place you want to put that money that you're putting in there. All of them okay. it could go to. Okay. Much I less trying that. to do mm-hmm. an exotic. Everybody's like, are we going to get an exotic quest this season? I'm not even holding my breath and I want one. Like, okay. because we have the final month of the season that's kind of open. Mm-hmm. They say there's more to go after Guardian Games. It's literally a month left of the season. What right. sits out there? It says and more. That, that, that. Right. <laughs> I mean, there, there's a lot of stuff that's been data mined. I'm not going to yeah, talk about uh, it here. Yeah. 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 So I, I, there, I, I there's stuff that. out there. Mm-hmm. And oh, I wish I, I wish I would not know about it. <laughs> yeah. But, you know, you should just put all the spoilers in your YouTube thumbnail and post that on social media oh, because God, you're a dude. prick. That's fine. <laughs> New yeah. quest. I, it's Here's the gun. This is the name of it. This is how it works. It's my it's fault. I subscribe to you. Mm-hmm. You know, if so being Yo, a loyal subscriber, you go ahead and spoil this for me. Thanks. In, bro. He said, go. I can't even get trials rewards on time. I have to wait for a separate reset day <laughs> so I can get the brand new act. That's a fact. He said they use that, that money up. to pay for a better server, better anti-cheat. He said, at this point, I better get your forte going. It That is true about that trials separate reset day on Saturday. <laughs> I don't understand. I mean, wow. Yo. It happens. It Yo, that one's weird. that's spooky. 
Why would you even play before 5 p.m. on Saturday, though? That's so I get that it sucks, and you know they're they're fixing it Tuesday, mm-hmm. supposedly according to the twelve. Mm-hmm. Why were you playing on Friday though? After they told you that you wasn't going to get nothing, <laughs> they told you this is not going. And you figure at five oh one p.m. on Saturday is when you'd have the most people in there playing. Like yeah. that'd be the best time to go in. No, like straight one oh one p.m. EST people in trials. <laughs> people thirst. They want to get. I don't have wanna... any. I don't have any rewards. <laughs> No, there's no rewards. Oh, <laughs> what are you doing? Look, I'm just, I had to bring it up. I was just going to say, just for argument's sake, you know, obviously it's a year, it's not been a full year yet with them being on their own. But I do want to always, you know what I'm saying, be transparent with what's going on. Now, if it continues post virus, I'm going to bring this back up. Remember that time we had Man of Arms on and we was told, I'm going to bring this there. So I just want y'all to be cognizant. Let me ask you on something. their own, there has been, and you you guys have made legitimate reasons, and, and and I get it. None of the stuff you're saying is incorrect. I'm just I just got my eye open because to oh, no, me get, it's, I'm, I'm it's concerning you. if it continues all the way up into September, and hopefully once the world gets back together and you know they can start getting back into the office and stuff like that. You know, I, I definitely hope you know things settle in. But I'm just watching him. I'm a little, 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 little Oh no! Well, you know me. I'll be yelling. I'll be the first one yelling. <laughs> it's, it's like I don't even know why they listen to me at this point because <laughs> I, am, I talk out of both sides of my face constantly. So I get it. But let me ask you this now. Well, we had a lot of complaints uh, several months back mm-hmm. about they were laying out the roadmaps. Yes. And telling us way too much. Right. Now I'm starting to read some backlash that mm. we really don't know what we got this season. Well, right. that's kind of what we asked. Well, we kind of asked to mm-hmm. not know what we got. I'd be okay if they said, listen, this this season, it's all about Rasputin. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that's it. I don't need to know that. Well, like, uh, mm-hmm. what was the one that got ruined? That was horrible. Uh, was the Ford him? season was completely ruined. Yeah. No, the Ford season was completely mm-hmm. ruined because we were given way too much information. Because Niobe Labs would have played out completely differently if you didn't know there was yet another forge to unlock right. after yep. Niobe Labs. If we'd have been kept in the dark about that, that would have been a great season. It'd have been like this past thing with it was the 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 uh, the holes of time or whatever corridors. it was. That oh yeah, the corridors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we the didn't know that, what you call it was a reward. We didn't know what was really going to happen. We had an we had a good idea. It was like okay, so mm-hmm. this is going to unlock yet another. Mm-hmm. another stage of this, but we had already kind of been prepared by no, by no, but mm-hmm. I was like, everybody's posting hexagons. We're like, what the f- is going on? So oh, there's going to be, it's like, how, how much do we want to know? How much do we want to be kept in the dark to where it's a surprise and it's pleasant. And it's a, it's a, it's an immersive journey. Right. And then who do they listen to? Because, you know, none of us can agree on anything. Mm-mm. Right. As far, when it comes to this, that we all have our, 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 our different, we all have our safe word kicks in at different times. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Is this still a Destiny podcast? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly. <laughs> no, but it's like Prescott said it and you said it too. It's like the community is basically schizophrenic when it comes to what they ask for. It's like, we want this, but we don't want this. We want a little more, but not too much info. It's like, what do you want? And it's like Bungie tries to walk the delicate line not? of yeah. how do you like, there's no way to, to, appease everybody and anymore it seems like there's no way to appease anybody you're gonna be too much too little too fast too slow not enough content content all the time this is too small but it's too big but i got bounties oh you want bounties we're gonna give you a thousand bounties okay now i'm doing bounties all the time i don't like bounties like (laughs) it's this ongoing cycle and that's why this game continues to live and evolve and we just mm -hmm. we're here for the journey and i think that's just part of it i'm I'm gonna be very i'm gonna probably piss a few people off but it's okay that's gonna happen Comments are fun. At like this them. point in in terms of PvP, like when we're we're sitting and we're having a constructive conversation about the reward system and we're trying yeah. to find a way to get more people to play. Yes. That's the kind of feedback they should listen to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As far as weapon tuning mm-hmm. and all this, they just need to close their ears now. Mm-hmm. And when they do a meta shift, if they do want to do a meta shift every season, every two seasons, okay, so we did a meta shift. It's a sidearm meta. That's mm-hmm. what it is. And that's what you're going to play. And that's yeah. it. And then next season, we're going to change it to something else. And mm-hmm. then that's what you'll play. Mm-hmm. And that's going to be the meta because it's a meta shift. Right. And we don't want to hear. You can scream all you want. We're not listening. 
just say point like we're not listening we are not listening <laughs> this is a meta shift this is it's an auto rifle meta that's what it is this season yeah. if you don't like playing with auto rifles that's fine mm -hmm. don't play with auto rifles and go get smoked you don't have to play a meta weapon. <laughs> <Go get smoked. laughs> you don't have to play a meta weapon that's on you baby Introducing because, community manager, man at arms. <laughs> Kiss well, my I, ass is my sword. Listen, I'm, I'm very, I would love you to be like with DJ spot and you just do that spiel. And they'd be I, like, I don't want to, well, you don't got to play. <laughs> why do, okay, why does, but the exception I of the it. not forgotten uh, hand cannon getting switched from a 180 to a 150, why does nobody ever complain about hand cannons? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a high skill weapon. Mm -hmm. Great. You want to play a high risk, high reward weapon? That's on you. Don't miss. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I, oh, I hear shit. you. I hear you, man. I hear nah, my wife's it, getting called on. But no, it's, it's, I'm sorry. It's okay. Yes, you want to show off for your viewers. I get, I love hand cannons. Mm -hmm. I love hand cannons. I am not competitive with them because I'm going to miss. Right. Yeah, I'm going to miss. Yeah. Okay, so I got to use a pulse rifle. I got to use something else. Or I have to have a like, good backup plan. Mm hmm. It's, no, there's a perk for if that. If you don't want to play with hard light, fine. Play with play with Soros regime. Soros regime is great. There's Soros a lot of six hundreds that are great. It's there's Soros some seven twenties that will shred a six hundred that nobody's talking about because the, the the range is severe. You got to mm -hmm. be close, but you will destroy somebody using a six hundred with a seven twenty. But this is our meta. Okay. Play it or don't. It's fine. Raids exist. Go raid. I'll see you go next season. <laughs> go. The example. You don't like it? Go raid. Go do <laughs> all. Not, go do all oh the other God. things in the game because guess what? Yeah, this is just where it is now. So if it's Listen. not constructive in a way that is trying to get more people engaged in the mm -hmm. game to make the game better, I really don't care no more. I don't care. I don't care that you I'm can't two tap you. me with a thorn. Get out of my face. <laughs> I'm I with don't you care. Up until the hard life part. I wish you up and no. We already part. agreed on the on the double damage. We yeah, agreed we agreed on, on double damage, and and if no range fall off is the issue. So we go. We get when, it's through. always been that way. It's been right. that way since D one. Yeah. Now, not with this level of accuracy or stability. Now, if you well, I mean, if you use it, we mm -hmm. will make fun of you. That's it's okay. Five times the the amount of usage versus weapon number two. But I'm gonna make fun of you. <laughs> It's, I made a video. The first video ever made was on that weapon. It's a, it was a trash gun. I'm going to make fun. I'm going to make fun of you. When you, if you were a bottom tree striker running juggernaut, mm -hmm. I made fun of you. I am a striker. Why? Because it's, it's, it's weak. Mm -hmm. Play how you want. It's okay. We might make fun of you though. That's fine. Play with you can make fun. But dumb dudes is winning. <laughs> dumb dudes is is dominating the meta right yeah, now. Yeah, but also you, know like, you mentioned the range fall off though, and it's like an area set it to you try and actually outshoot me with a go figure with that thing at range. I'm gonna win. Not all the time. Uh, it, it still competes. It still try competes me. We'll go one on one it's, here in a minute. Go at range where you're like, hey. Ray, I can hit you across the map. I'm like, I'm going to hit you nine times out of ten, and you're going to hit me four times that out of ten. Range. I'm just talking about what I consider range two and range one. Well, yeah, it's then I'll try a Soros against better. you, too, and I'll preload it, and you're dead. Yeah, but you're using a, 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 one of the dominant weapons. I'm trying to say is I just feel autos, right, are fine overall, but that gun is competing in other places where it technically shouldn't be out dueling these other weapons. That's all I'm the saying. The first from time range. in six years that gun gets to see a little bit Bro, of light. It's five, and everybody mean, wants bit, to set it on fire. Nah, nah, we're gonna fight. <laughs> it's five times the amount use from the next gun. Are you kidding me? That is like the <laughs> ultimate crutch. But God, it's, it's the first time that it's being used. It's the no. Go this back. is not right like this this how, gun is broken how much no. how much and you're rewarding money. missing you i could shoot down a hallway and miss and be like yeah i got you no this is not the way it's this is a, not the way hey this as is, man at arm said it is the meta <laughs> swallow it and move on swallow it well no wait, i ain't swallowing that you well you see what's going <laughs> on you, you, right you spit now. you don't swallow <laughs> no, i ain't doing that <laughs> But no, this is not like, safe for work. Like I said initially, right how much yeah. usage did Mida get on that stupid no, I, trials of the five Mermat? times? Five times. It, the about the same. Time. And we got pull the numbers it, up. Pull the numbers it, up. Bro. It, Get the numbers, and then I, I, I got to see. Know. I've never seen this much of disparity. I'm barely. The barely number one use display. gun to the number two use gun. This is it's like night and day. It's night and I mean, day. How many people were using spare rations beforehand, though? 
<laughs> Gotta pull the number. I mean, come on. Go Let's read Aries comment. But not five times. Go not read Aries time. comment right now, Cognito. Yeah, sunset it. <laughs> sunset. Sunset. Weapon retire it. My... Y'all, y'all like weapon retire it? Weapon retire that. <laughs> it's not. It, it, let me. Okay, let me ask it now. The, objectively, is the is it as broken as Lord of Wolves has been? I think so because it's it's the most versatile gun in any situation. You can use it in any situation. Lord of Wolves was strictly at close range. I can shoot somebody down was the block it? with hard luck. <laughs> was it? What is your definition of close? Define close. Give me meters. Go. Meters. Meters. <laughs> Tons of meters. It's I've competing been... in spaces where it should where it should have that level of accuracy. That's all I'm saying. It, 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 it's, the stats prove what I'm saying. They, uh, until y'all can show me another meta where the number one gun was used five times the amount of the number Two who's and playing trials guns. and who's getting kills and trials? The sweaty people. The sweaty people okay. are aware of the meta. So then if you mm. go into a casual playlist where not everybody watches YouTube videos, they're the, they right. listen to podcasts, they're like, hey, what's the top thing going on right now? Mm. Then, yeah, <laughs> the average person is going to be like, okay, so they're going to probably use some more average stuff. Like, you go in Crucible, mm. I don't see it that much in Crucible. I see it in Trials because the sweaties who are very in tune with the meta, what are strong guns mm-hmm. and things of that nature... And guess what? It's one of the most obvious tells, hey, that guy killed me with a laser light show. What weapon did he use? It's not like a okay. bullet so flying around fi- the map. You guys are fine with the disparity. Okay, I get it. You guys, you guys are fine. Oh, no, it's this not one perfect, gun that can dominate how do you fix situation. it? We already talked fix about it? it. We already yeah. talked about the whole you remove the double, double damage, damage thing, right? Anything else you do, you are gutting an exotic that has been around wow. forever. Why are we gutting it? So take away the <laughs> ricochet damage? Change. Take away the, the ricochet damage. Do- I'm okay ricochet with that. damage number one. Take away the ricochet damage. I, I said mm-hmm. it. Yep, so that was my idea. One. Yep. I what guess. else? You can't do anything else. Nah, you could do more. <laughs> you, could, you could absolutely do some more you stuff. And you'll get it, it's and then the, you won't use it anymore. Listen, 600 is still in a good place. My only issue with the gun is the size of the, the thing is at range. At range, I still feel it's, a, it, it, it's, not, it's no drop off. It's actually probably the, one of the only few guns that, because it's a laser beam, right? There's Literally. no drop off. Yeah, I was like, that, it that's okay. Yeah, it probably should then. Hard light, you're firing light. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that shouldn't have much of a drop off. It travels so, pretty quick. Well, I'm pretty sure. Y'all like auto it's, rifles competing down the block? Y'all cool with that? Y'all cool with that? And, and you know how I feel about auto rifles in general. Oh, I know you hate auto rifles in the set. first place. So you're I don't just hate them. The, I'm just you, saying that you, it, you it just think they're be, the easy button. L- yeah, well, of course. But they shouldn't. Should. They shouldn't be competing. With people with a skill weapon at distance, that that's just my philosophy. Hand cannons shouldn't rifles. hit the range they hit at ever. They got completely. <clears throat> you ain't see range means nothing oh, no. on hand cannon right now. Oh, they no. got brought in they, they, from yeah. the ranges. Yeah, they got brought it, in. It did. It, it didn't work. It t- it got to last dude. <laughs> I'm still I was smoking. Like spare rations with... is still good. <laughs> I'm still smoking. People, <laughs> and I was like spare rations is still on that list. <laughs> Spare rations yeah. is still good. But so. Look, and, look and at it, the disparity between the rations and the other weapons. It's all close. All the other stuff is very close, except fire. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no. It, um, in my opinion, uh, with the exception of I'm going to hold the trigger down and bounce it down the hallway, Suros is better. Yeah. Suros like is Suros. freaking amazing. One, once Suros gets cranked up, you destroy families. I like this. <laughs> <laughs> You destroy families. Oh God! You just yeah, you yeah. just actually delete tired. people's accounts. It's horrible. Soros is it's good. absolutely horrible. Okay, so then Soros hard light gets nerfed. Soros comes up. You are gonna knock that down next? Every everyone be complaining about oh, Soros. Every, every, so Soros will go one. five times. It's gonna absolutely. go. It's gonna, it's Soros gonna be the is gonna five jump. Times if hard light's not up there, Soros that. is gonna leave. I'm not Soros saying it won't strong. win, but I'm I'm just talking about the disparity. The do everything gun, the Mister Fix It gun. That's what it is. That's what all Soros can freaking heal you and still compete with hard light. It does not heal you all the time. It's a percentage. It, random I just literally chance. said it can. Okay, that's the it word can. choice there. Right, it can, mm-hmm. and it, it can. still competes with the gun you're complaining about. So it can, but it can. Soros, and it can fire. Here's the you. difference. Here's the difference. Soros has to spin up. You have to have that level before okay. it can get there. Whereas hard light is there. From from the rip. That's Pre-fire what I'm trying to say. Everything. 
I pre-fire hand cannons coming around a corner oh, just in case. <laughs> and just in case somebody <laughs> walks in front of it. I will have no problem shooting down an empty hallway. Somebody will walk in front of it eventually. <laughs> right. Fiction. Here's the thing. I'm, Y'all confusing something leading the um the the weapons usage rate as the issue. That's that's not the issue. There's always gonna be something that's gonna lead. But when you have disparity as this which is rarely seen, that is a problem. That means there's one clear solution to life's problems in PvP. That's what I'm saying. This thing is the solution, bro. Until y'all guys show me a meta where y'all had one gun was used five to seven times more than everything else, then I'll say, you know what, you got me? That meta was evil. This is <laughs> but one of the right rare now, places you can look that up, by the way. Yeah, I'm gonna like, try. Yeah, I like how what like yeah. I want to know what the usage rate for Lord of Wolves was in comp when it was popular. How often was one eyed mask used in comp right. when it was popular? Oh, like, that was that so. Was I'm like, go through the reigns that some of these things have had. Recluse, right. recluse. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, that was bigger than anything for the longest time. So I mean, you can you can go through. It's just like. Again, yeah. Until y'all show me the numbers, I've I've not seen it. I've well, never no, seen it. No other site tracks it like Trials. This launched with Trials, but those previous no, but we've, times, we've got Crucible stats. We've got Comp stats. Nobody has the like the specific Trials weapon report that I posted on Twitter, and you're like, no, I, oh, here it is. There's not other no, places to had, go look that got up. We've got Charlemagne and all that stuff. They, they still have usage rates. They still got kill <clears> rates. <throat> What's okay, killing well, the most? What subclasses kill? We still we've always had that. Oh, okay. from D one, we've had that. So but you, you couldn't tell me what look. it was then. Because it wasn't that ridiculous to be no, looking you at You don't it. know what the disparity was. I guarantee you it had to be pretty damn ridiculous for you a couple guarantee. of those moments. Okay. There's I've no never, way I've some of those PvP. stuff I've I just mentioned. I've been playing PvP a long time. I have never seen this much disparity. I'm just telling. And I look at those type of reports. Okay, so I do. if you take away the ricochet, how do you right. not gut it so it just goes one to literally shit? How do you not take it into a dumpster? It's an auto rifle. <laughs> All you want it is you just hate you just want it gone. Hey, I told Revo- you. I Revoker has passed rifle. it officially. Revoker is the most used <laughs> weapon in trials. No. Yeah. By a hundred thousand kills. By a hundred thousand, it's the new number one. <laughs> That's the new number one. See, why have we been talking about hard light? Revoker is now the problem, obviously. So, do you have any issues with Revoker? With the whole perk, the just missing and it's, yeah, that's how the gun works. <laughs> Do you have any issues with that gun? It's how the gun works. I mean, it's a sniper, so I'm a little partial. A little partial. The fact that uh, it still requires some skill to snipe. I just struggle with auto rifles. Man. I do. I just struggle with it. I struggle. Suros, I'm cool with you, but uh, old hard, old hard like man, yeah. Mm-mm. Prescott, tweak the number off the ricochet. Don't get rid of it. Your friction. Urals, no, year one was this bad. Urals was pretty bad. There, there shouldn't be no ricochet bonus damage. Yeah, mm-hmm. that I don't. It never should have been on the gun. Mm-mm. It's interesting. <laughs> I'm curious to see what they will do. Urials, year one actually was really, really bad. Urials, real one was strong. Is, I do remember he that. He is 100% correct. But there was a counter because we had like Annie Ope. You had like two or three guns. Like, that's how I always remember the old. It was always like two or three. Now, yeah, but I Uriel's think- was my scout rifle. <laughs> I'm not even joking. Oh, yeah, no. That thing's range <laughs> is nuts. It's still pretty damn good now when you get it's, it back. Its range was all in year one. Yeah, I can use great. it what's, now and kill What's people? the range that? All of it. All of it. <laughs> all the range. <laughs> we'll see how they handle. We'll see how they handle. It'll yeah, just if they take away the ricochet, oh, well. I'd want to know where it would land, because then people wouldn't be blind firing all the time. Mm-hmm. So, and then it's going to, it's probably going to feel a little different, but yeah. You There's can... a solution to that. Don't go out there. They will run out of bullets. <laughs> Don't go out there. They will run. Uh, listen, I ran out of bullets with hard light. I didn't think that was possible. I'm like, I'm legit out of bullets. I have two shotgun shells. Oh. <laughs> You're going to shoot around a corner, I was like, dude. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, also, no. I just, I... I went on like a 10 kill streak and ran out of bullets and oh, in, in sixes. And I was just, I was, it's on it's... video log somewhere. I'm like, dude, I'm out of bullets. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> they, oh, oh shit! You you killed families, and that's what happened. Oh, the, oh that was dark. Well, ran, ran over. I said what I had to say. Y'all, y'all know how I feel. That's Let's fair. see what happens. 
Well, well, Revoker's going to muddy the waters because that's that's oh well, that's what everybody's complaining about now. The gun is broken. Okay, well, then next week we'll be playing on Anomaly again or something, and everybody will be using something else. I was like, the the maps are going to determine. Yeah. So, what do you guys think the maps are going to be? SMGs are very strong. I have no idea. Called. I wanted to be that. that, I wanted to be Exodus. Exodus is the one from Blue. um, Yep, that's the D one. Yeah, I want that. I love that. That, that one's got some quarters and stuff. Cauldron will be interesting mm-hmm. as well. It'll probably be one of those two. After that, don't know. Yeah. Go old school. Twilight. Let's go. Ooh. Twilight Gap. Twilight Gap. With yeah. no sniper lanes anymore. <laughs> there, yeah. Good luck with that. There's sniper lanes all over the place. That, eh. that one's nah, up top. Don't, don't, just, just don't go, go out to there. the right and jump outside. Ooh, yeah, but you can't stand pick. on the end of the railroad tracks anymore and see the other side of the map. That doesn't exist. <laughs> that doesn't some boxes exist. up. <laughs> boxes Bags. in the way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what else you got, you? I'm trying to think. I was like, I feel like the basically they in the TWAB they mentioned cheating and they mentioned the fact that all the little displays on your emblems they have a lot of those that they will be bringing back. But it was an ultralight TWAB outside of cheating calendar that we've seen and <clears throat> patches and stuff that are in the works mm-hmm. and that's about it but the biggest thing is like the end of the twab and i'll just read it because D- uh, dylan said it and said it pretty damn well uh the days and weeks are beginning to meld together our local weather station put it we've entered the month of maprillary <laughs> basically because <laughs> yeah every day does run together the sun continues to rise and fall, but it's becoming a little difficult to keep track of what day it is. Thankfully, we have Destiny 2 to bring us together during these times of isolation. Sometimes the only thing I have to remind me of is what day of the week we are living is every Thursday mainstay this blog article. I'd like to take a moment to highlight the essential workers of the world, and I wanted to do that as well. Thank you to everybody out there in the world, be it like teachers if you guys are trying to do live classrooms from home. Uh, parents who now have a, a rude awakening of what the teachers are going through um, mm-hmm. on a day-to-day basis, and the healthcare workers in the front lines doing all the stuff they're doing, risking themselves with not enough equipment to do what they're supposed to be doing. So stay home, stay safe, and try and stay healthy so we can try and get through this thing. I just wanted to throw that out there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Actually, I, want, I got something to chime in on this. Yes, please. And this is, this is going to be the complete opposite of everything else we talk about. This is very serious. A lot of places, so when they do a lockdown, you have the essential businesses, which are black and white, but a lot of other businesses stay open because they're given the provision you can stay open as long as you follow the CDC safety guidelines. Mm-hmm. Listen, we all need a paycheck. I get it. If your workplace is legitimately putting you in situations where you are at risk to infect yourself, or someone else, or your family members when you get home, pick up a phone and report them. Mm. I mean, listen, some people got to pay bills. I get it. I I have friends right now at work. Mm. They have to pay their bills, so they're going to work. Their workplace is not nearly ideal. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it's your life. So do what you got to do, but don't be afraid to call bullshit on an employer who is not doing things correctly when they are fully capable of doing it correctly. Mm-hmm. Real. I mean, Real, man. it's a shitty situation either way you cut it because you mm-hmm. got to get paid. Yeah, but it's not, it's not worth your life. Absolutely. Yeah. You got to put your life first. You got to put your health first. You got to protect yourself, protect your family. Because again, even, you know, younger or whatever, you may feel that, Hey, if something happens to me, I could survive it. You know, you being someone as a carrier could really do damage you know, to someone. So, um, yeah, you got to be careful. You got to be careful. If it feel wrong, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it, man. And oh, stay no, like, my, home. Stay my home. shop got... closed Ooh. down on purpose because it's yeah. like, we cannot do business safely. Yeah. And it sucks. I mean, a lot of guys are, you know, the low level guys, they live paycheck to paycheck. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately we had to make a decision. It was just like, we got to go home. Facts. Like you got you know, most of the guys who were upset about it, it's like, do you have little kids? Yeah, I got a two year old, bro. This is for your two year old. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. and it, there's provi- there's provisions for income. I mean, mm-hmm. that that's what this whole stimulus package they just passed right. for is, and it does really favor people with lower incomes. Right. If you're in the upper bracket of income, you pass seventy five thousand. Is it does nothing for you? 
But, so, yeah. you know, you should have saved your money. I'm in that group. I saved some money. I'm okay. But so there's provisions to make sure you stay afloat. There's moratoriums on rent, moratoriums on mortgage where you don't have to pay those bills. The electric will not turn off in a lot right. of places. The landlords but you, are not evicted. You can't. Yeah, it, it, there's stuff in place. Stuff at in the place. end of the day, you still have to feed your family too. So I completely get that. Not everybody's situation is the same. So if the question is taking on risk and feeding my child, I'll crawl on broken glass <laughs> and through fire. So I get that too. So you, all I'm saying is do what you got to do. Yeah, just use discretion. Use discretion. And last thing I'll just add to it is, um, look, we're all gamers here. You know, everyone here loves gaming, play Destiny, we do all this stuff. Now is the time, man. It's a beautiful time. See, for us gamers, this is what we do. We stay inside. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We stay inside. We blaze. So that, for, you just tell us to do what comes natural. But there's a lot of my friends, a lot of people who are not gamers who are really struggling with the whole isolation thing. And I tell them, yo, now's the time. Pick up a console, you know what I'm saying? Do some things to get your mind off of you know, a lot of the ne negativity while we go through it, and we will get through it. Apparently, I the agree. thing to play is Animal Crossing. <clears throat> yes, Animal Crossing <clears throat> is wild fun right now. I'm Definitely. afraid to turn it on. I yeah, haven't touched it either, you. and I'm kind of it'll afraid in the you. same way. I'm it'll like, am you, I going to be like, you know, loan sharking with Tom Nook and worrying about turn up stock markets? And I'm like, mm -hmm. dude, I don't know if I can get into that. Yo, it's it's real. If you got time, turn it on. It's, it's Animal, Animal Crossing is the coronavirus of gaming. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the cartoon cutest real life simulator where you have a loan. You don't. Mm -hmm. There's no payback date, but you you still got a loan. And Tom Nook's got you. Well, I got these turnips. Oh my! They all my farm crop got ruined, so my harvest can't go turn in, so I can pay the stock market. I'm like, what game did you guys make? <laughs> <laughs> that is like that's the stuff I keep seeing. Somebody's like, I made a million bells on turnips right now, and I'm shit humping this tree to get wood to hop out yeah, of it, get it. <laughs> and I'm digging the holes behind me so I can knock yeah. rocks like twenty times. I'm like, yes, this game is insane. I don't life. know if I can. If I get I into that, I'm so worried. I saw mm -hmm. somebody made a picture of Shaxx in game on Animal yes. Crossing. I was like, <laughs> I can never, I can never mess with this. <laughs> it'll it's get a me. life suck. Yeah. It's a life suck for real. Your it's whole island would be on fire, right? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> whole things just mm -hmm. just fire and rivers of beer. And there you go. <laughs> if you can change the river to another color, you're not gonna be doing oh the little like God. the bamboo stick to hop over it. You're just gonna be swimming through it and drunk on the other side. That'd be amazing. I hate talking. My friends are all play Animal Crossing like it's Destiny Mid Stonks Mark. <laughs> <laughs> salute salute oh real, though. that was real, uh, that was real. well we gotta respect your day it is kind of right at our usual stopping time so mm -hmm. man at arms if you want to let them know where they can find all the things that you do between podcast stream twitch twitter all the good stuff let them know where they can find you so we can spread some love your way if you go to destinyunfiltered.com that'll get Ooh. you to everything nice. so that'll Ooh. get you my twitter my sleeping youtube my Twitch channel, <laughs> all these things. It's just if you, here, like... if you follow me on Twitter, I'm warning you up front, you're going to get a shitload of alerts over the course of a day. I have no respect for your news feed. None whatsoever. <laughs> but it's entertaining most of the time, so that's fine. It is, it is good yeah, stuff. Man. I highly recommend it, the follows. It is good times. Just, just turn your alerts off. You'll be fine. <laughs> Salute, man. Good to have you in there, man. We've been talking for a minute. Long over. No, thank you guys so much. Yeah, this was dope. This was dope. We had to do it, man. We had to get the man arms in here. A lot of fun. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. And again, tell that site one more time, man. Let them know so it they can be disturbed. Destinyunfiltered.com. We do oh, our own man. thing. We don't know what that thing is, but we do it every week. No doubt. No it's doubt. A and when is the unfiltered? Let them know <laughs> when the unfiltered goes down. What, what day, what time? Uh, we do it live on Twitch Tuesdays, 9 p.m. Mm -hmm. Eastern, and then audio trickles out depending on how bad we screwed up the audio. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. It's like, when's the audio going to go? Well, it's when I'm going to match everything. Yeah, if it's, it's going to get there. It gets there. Audio, it, audio is one day. Mm -hmm. One day it will be out. Usually within a week or so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a little less than a week. Salute. Gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. No doubt. No doubt. Men of by the campfire. But no, Sir thank Cog you guys so much. Oh no, it was an absolute you pleasure, know. man. Great to have you on. Mm -hmm. No, definitely got me uh got my cheeks hurting this morning. That's good. We got some laughs, laughs which is what we need right now, actually. I was yeah. really looking forward to having a nice 
uh, conversation with a lot of levity in it at this point in time mm-hmm. in the world. It's a good thing. Yeah. Cognito, sir. You already know, man. Lord Cognito at Lord Cognito on Twitter. Every Sunday is the Lord's Day. We shall return. Who we got? We got, oh, we got Sean Capri. We got some uh, C- Canadian influence coming through. It should be fun, man. We're going to talk about what's going on with Xbox, what's going on with Last of Us 2 delay. We're going to talk about a little switch action and uh, maybe what's going on with cloud infrastructure. So stay tuned. Sunday, 1 p.m. Eastern, Iron Lord Podcast, your YouTube, and you already know, because he hates what I said. <laughs> The best Destiny podcast you've never heard on Fridays at 9 a.m. Eastern. The okay, last month, right. campfire is hot. Yeah. <laughs> hot. My <laughs> issue, well, you need to say that like other, you need to say that during Iron Lord's podcast is they just <laughs> listen to this and you're like, the thing you haven't heard. I'm like, no, no, they just listen to it. That's that's my only issue. You can right, say that you. anywhere you. else. Just anywhere else, else. Just not in the end of what they just listened to. And I'm good. That's it. <laughs> I love how you get disgusted. It's you great. should record it and post that just that spiel. Yeah, on just that little Twitter. thing. Yeah, just that one clip on I got Twitter. E, I got E. I got E on Sunday. Don't worry, I That's got your. It. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna give you that cliff, and you can drop it and be like, "Hey, uh, last word's gonna be at the best podcast you've never heard of right here." <laughs> <laughs> I love how disgusted you get. Anyway, <laughs> he loves just like pushing buttons. Over yeah, there. I know. anything that gets him upset because he doesn't get upset. So when you get him there, it's great. <laughs> I'm not even upset. I'm just like rolling my eyes over here. Yeah, I'm gonna discuss. I, I see the face. I'm like, yes. Now, if you actually had a good enough break in there, I just edit it out. But I haven't found a good break yet to just be like, <laughs> shink, gone. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got, man. Uh, e, and go for me, uh, it's Ivantis everywhere. I'm working from home the way most of you guys are, so I'm streaming a lot. But if you find Ivantis, E B O N T I S, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch. If you find a cheetah, you found me. So I'm Ooh. usually pretty easy to spot yeah. that way. Uh, but no, man, this was amazing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it this morning. All of you guys in chat, don't run away. I got to go raid somebody on Twitch. So don't leave me yet. We're going to make sure somebody gets a little love this morning. But to end this thing and editing always makes this actually possible. I always kind of give a little wrap up, let them know the episode number. And then I say it has been. And then at the end of this, we say the last word, hence the title of the podcast. But we try and say it all together. So. I'll edit it later so it actually matches because Discord is impossible. (laughs) But we'll do this together. It's not bad with editing. I've learned that. It's not too bad. So, episode 97. We've only got three more until we get 100. We are working on a guest for 100, so you do not want to miss out. Working on that one, but it is April 3rd. Hopefully you guys stay safe. Um, Protect yourself as much as you can. Our guest, Man at Arms, DestinyUnfiltered.com. Go find this man. man. Good times, good laughs, and Mm -hmm. um, definitely muffs. Cover the earmuffs, earmuffs on the kids there. Keep them safe. <laughs> uh, but for episode 97, April 3rd, thank you guys very much. All of you in chat, you guys are awesome. And it has been The, the Last, last word. word. 